This is what I was forgetting. All the levels look good already. Can't hear me yet. Huh? Hmm. Ah. Hi, Feet Chan. Hi, Smile. Hi, Valmea. I'm not late. Fuck you, Smile and Feet Chan. I lost one. They're fucking in here ten minutes early. You late. You gay. You cute. Where is you and oh he is late. Grumble grumble. <sighs> Do me a favor real quick and look to the left and look to the right. Okay, this is left. And this is right. All true though. Hi hi you and my love. Hi Freya, hi love. It's not all true. The the gay and cute one, yes. The you late one, it's not true. I'm so fucking cordial on time. You don't know a more punctual streamer than me. Hi, Icy Fire. You can't be late. Thank you. I love you. I love you, Feet Chan. Hi, Yuki. You early? I wouldn't say early, but punctual, cordial, on time. I am those things. If you are on time, then how come I beat you here? Because <laughs> it's not a race. In fact... Oh, shit. Never mind. What I was going to say doesn't work. God. Hi, Sir Noble. You punctual just doesn't roll off the tongue. Yuki Sweets. Koopo. Ah. We're a fucking... Ah. We're a fucking Moogle for today. I did some Final Fantasy yesterday. I killed the trial with Bararichia. He's cool. Wah, I'm not sweet. Yuki took to the data of all the tentacles, and I think it was... It was Tungticles that won, right? That was the one that everybody put at the top. Yep. High unknown. Is this Final Fantasy X 2 I'll be honest, all the FF games have blurred together. This isn't even Final Fantasy. New Obsession Unlocked. Barbie. What do you mean, New Obsession Unlocked Barbie? Time to go on three more days after today. Mm -hmm. This is Mon Hun 3. But, um, actually, it's Monster Hunter Try. Good lord. Barbaricha Barbie. Oh. She was cooler until I saw her transform. Once she transformed, she's just like, I'm all wrapped up and I'm fucking uh, the one guy from Naruto that does the arm expansion. I was like, eh. When you were in the like skimpy armor and had the big sword, that's when it was cool. That's when it was best. Surprisingly, Slime is barely in the top three, sharing a place with the Cephalopodic. There was one or two people that put Slime really low. That was why. Monster Hunter Try Hard. Hi, Kimmy. Of course, she comes in with fucking skibbity. Damn, you can't handle Barbie at her buffest? Hey, I didn't die. I did get hit a few times, but I didn't die. 
Yeah, yeah, let me try to beat your ass, what then? Yeah, really? Not the skibbity. The only reason I did it because my ADHD impulsiveness told me to do it? No, I understand, Yuki. Sometimes people get a project in their head, and sometimes it's a project that's really fucking stupid. Not that yours was. And they're just like, I am going to do this. My brain is telling me it's the most important thing in the world. It will be done. <laughs> I have seen it before. Okay, so you know how I didn't have flying to the end of Endwalker, right? Do you actually have it for Dawn Trail? <sighs> I haven't started Dawn Trail. The tough fight blind. So many mechanics. Don't forget to exercise the pom pom. What do you mean exercise the pom pom? I completed the drought Dawn Trail fate zones. Do you not have flying for them? What is wrong with you? Ah. Do you have flying? Do you have like, oh god, for real? Exercise the Koopo? There's no way to exercise the Koopo. Someone will give me orange juice? You gotta go earn stuff. You gotta go, like, craft and build stuff to unlock the stuff she sells. Um, hi, Pixel. I can't exercise the pom-pom. The only thing I can do is wiggle it. This is it. This is all I can do. This is all it's got. Work. I agree. This is a fun map. It is fun to, like, do the stuff, but... Um... <laughs> it was here for the thing that I said was TMI yesterday. I had a fat cleaning session at like 10 p.m. <laughs> it was not testicular torsion. It was blue balls. I feel much better now. Anyway. Y'all didn't need to know that. But I wanted to share. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I cast red balls on you. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Twist his dick. You know, that shit was getting painful. And I was like... Dude, I must have slept on it wrong. This sucks. And then, uh, since I finally had privacy yesterday, did the thing. Instant relief. It's like, oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> cool. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Give him the old dick twist. Bailiff, whack his pee pee. One, two, three, four. So it wasn't the voodoo doll. Hi, Global. No. No, it wasn't the voodoo doll. Are you telling me you were using a voodoo doll trying to hurt my nuts? What the fuck, Global? And then you're gonna go crying to Cairo. He's so mean to me. You're using a fucking voodoo doll. Voodoo D's nuts. That, that's what they were doing, Kimi. One, two, three, four, five. I remember a furry video involving a voodoo doll. Oh, God. You took my brain cell. One, two, three, four, five. It's not assuming you outed yourself, Global. No one else said anything about a voodoo doll. Nobody knows anything about a voodoo doll, and you're like, so it was the voodoo doll. That implies that you know that there was a voodoo doll involved, and no one else does. You're incriminating yourself. 
Yoink, high, high global. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Speaking of which, paying my taxes. Mm hmm. One, two, three, four. But also, I eat now. If I'm awake, I'll come snug. Sleep well, Kimmy. I hope you don't come snuggle. Because I hope you get like a long six to seven hours of just fucking banger sleep. And you feel super well rested and awesome tomorrow. I would love to see you in a couple hours and snuggle. But I hope I don't. Because I hope you get good sleep. Oh, we're going to start right at 11. Three minutes. Just because you don't know about it doesn't mean others don't. Long sleeps are awful. It's not about what I know or what others don't know. It's about what you know, Global. Long sleeps are awful. Feel horrid. Hurried when I sleep long. Well, I hope you feel great after the perfect amount of sleep. Too much sleep is blag. I said six to seven hours. If it was like, I hope you sleep 14 hours, that's a fucking curse on someone. 30 seconds now. I wish I'd have good sleep, had nightmares or bed dreams every day the past months. Ciao. Anyway, semen. Semen and eat it. What? Parents dream six hours of sleep. Not like I am taking all of Safi's knowledge without his awareness. We don't have Safi tonight for Stardew, most likely. One minute down. We probably won't have. Space fish, we probably won't have Safi. Wow, a week hold. Sorry, autocorrect. I meant a whole week. <laughs> oh, yeah, Stardew tonight. Mm hmm. Space fish had some IRL emergency come up. Yeah. And Safi is without internet. Halfway there. So if Safi gets their internet back, they'll be there. Spacefish might come for partial and leave early. You want daily self-love? God damn it, Yuki. Yuki showed their cats in the Discord. They're cute and fluffy. Things work out okay for fishy. So it's it's two minutes now. It's not anything that affects them. I Octal Mage. It affects a family member. And as I understand it, it's like... Nothing too serious. <sighs> but it's scary. I don't want to say what it is, because she didn't say what it was. Maybe she did in her Discord. Yeah. <sighs> 30 seconds. Just 30 more seconds. Uh, 20 more seconds. Woo, seven stream streak. Hell yeah. 15. Yeah, my cats are goofballs. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ugh. Ugh. Fun fact, the white one is the mother of the dark rail. Oh. Guys, I hate planking. Yeah. Alright, nobody look at me. Don't do it. Ah, it's so embarrassing. Don't, don't look at me. Uh-huh, you can't. Freya's here. Take that, global. <sighs> okay. Calibrated. Ah. 
What am I pressing play on? Not the right uh, internet video. We get to watch your friends instead. Peru. Let me turn this off. We set it to this. We're walking to the same video. We're walking to Taurus again. Because, uh, I re-uploaded it this morning. I messed up the banner yesterday. And so we're, we're doing a quick check on it to make sure it's not fucked. Hi, Jan. Your hyperfixation on me, especially when I'm not pertinent to the topic, is worrisome? It's not a hyperfixation. You're just the villain. You're the, like... You're the one... That if something has been, like, done to me, I can blame you. Because half the time it is you. Right? So if somebody's, like, going to do something, I say, hey, don't you do that. Half the time it's you standing there with the thing in your hand going, ah, ah, you caught me. And I'm like, global, no globaling. I'm justified in this. Hi, you Lee. That's too many complicated words, heal into stalking global. I'm not stalking global. Hi, global Yuki, Okta, and Frey. Hi, Juice. You don't sound unhinged at all. I know he's doing it! I don't know how, but when I do, I'll figure it out. Look, I set up a camera. He blinks when Framie's there, when Framie's not, and then the next frame he's there again. I don't know how he does it, but he's guilty, I swear. Mrs. Parr, you and your son can leave. What? You're just gonna let them go? <laughs> the fucking teacher in The Incredibles that Dash keeps pranking. Pyrodoko? What day is it, Global? Ah. So yeah. Taurus, again. Used to be a city planet like Coruscant. Some Sith dude nuked it with poison gas that turns people into, like, weird ravenous zombies called rat ghouls. Um... It was abandoned for 400 years. The Republic is trying to reclaim it, clear out the poison gas, clear out the rat ghouls. They're kind of like werewolves. If you get bit by a rat ghoul, you turn into a rat ghoul. Um, they're very nasty. They'd been here like for five or ten years reclaiming it, and then the war with the Empire starts up again. It's like, oh shit, okay. The day after you told everyone you busted a nut? No, that's wrong. I smug. I told everybody today that I busted a nut. It's the day after I busted a nut. Euland is basically yelling global malaise like Crocker yells fairy godparents. You know, that's just zombies. Zombies can do that. I guess they do, don't they? Pyrodoko, hoi smug. Hi, hi, smug love. Wow, I literally did just forget that about zombies and be like, hey, that's the werewolf thing. <laughs> Oops. Also, I didn't say hoi Freya. Mm hmm. Ah, I played Planet Crafter with Senral yesterday. That is not a game that I thought it was going to be. That game is more like Cookie Clicker than it is like a Satisfactory. I was expecting like a factory simulator. But it is... It is way more of a fucking idle game. We had fun. We played for like three hours. Um... 
he was saying, I'm sitting there like, it feels like we're halfway done. It feels like we're 60% done with this game. And he's sitting there going, oh my god, we haven't even scratched the surface. I'm like, oh shit, really? Um, They drop you off on a planet that looks like fucking Mars. And it is just barren. It is barren and like, shit sucks. There's meteors. Hot Sundays. It's rough. But there's just rocks everywhere. There's iron, magnesium, silicone, and you just pick it all up and uh, start crafting stuff. Specifically, what you want to craft is um, a vegetation tube. And they give you a seed at the start. They give you a seed and you put that in the vegetation tube. And that starts putting oxygen into the atmosphere. Very small amounts, mind you. You, um, you want to start building drills to release pressure into the atmosphere. Um, what was the third thing? It was oxygen, drills, heat. You need to release heat into the atmosphere. So you're building these, like, heaters. Um, all of these take power, so you need to build power sources, which, at the start, is just a wind turbine. And then as you build more and more of these, you're able to build more advanced versions of them, so, like, a Tier 2 drill. A Tier 2 vegetation tube. Instead of a, uh wind generator, a solar panel generator. Um. Instead of a heater, a tier 2 heater. But these start requiring more materials, like iMedia. You'll start needing aluminum for stuff. And aluminum is, like, not in the starting area. You have to fucking run out for that. Um. Eventually, we got it to a point where we had upgraded our oxygen tanks like three times. We had upgraded these like exoskeleton legs to increase our backpacks like three times. We had upgraded like our boots two times to make us run faster. And the sky was blue. We actually had a blue sky, which was like, oh, thank God. I'm excited for the point where we have enough oxygen in the air that we don't need to fucking like manage our oxygen. It's funny. I had watched... I had watched Shockrail play this game. But, like, when I'm watching somebody, I really don't pay attention to the game they're playing. I kind of just listen. And so... <laughs> I didn't know shit about the game. I literally thought it was like a fucking factory builder. But it was fun. It's kind of on my mind right now. I want to play it more. But I don't. I want to wait for Sen. We'll be playing more next Monday. And if anybody wants to join us, we'll be playing it in Discord. Logitech hang hung out with us the whole time yesterday. He was He'd played it before. And so anytime we'd be asking a stupid question, he'd have the answer. Mixie and Pixel came by also. Um, you guys ready for the holidays? Do it as a planet terraformer. What game? Planet Crafter. It is literally just space themed cookie clicker. Like, that's really just all it is. Um, yeah. The holidays. Some of these are great. Cow Appreciation Day. So if anybody has cow print bikinis, you know, today's the day. I'm just saying. It is no bra day. 
Hell yeah. This is probably my favorite one. Sugar cookie day. I love sugar cookies. Um, sugar cookies used to be like the thing I always got from the store. I'd get the Milano sugar cookies. Because they were always so fucking soft and just, they melt in your mouth. That shit's the best. Um... Don't put all of your eggs in one omelet day. I feel like that one's just trying to have a long name. Fashion day. Cow appreciation, no bra and sugar cookie I'm down for. The last one I wrote down was black women's equal pay day. I don't know if I want to go too much into this. But for anybody who doesn't know... Uh, when you look at corporations and companies, and who is most likely to get raises and promotions, shocker, it's straight white men. And that's at a, like, per capita level. Not a, like, raw amount level. And so, if you are, if you are a black woman in the workplace, it fucking is rough out there. So this day is, you know, kind of for them. I don't know, it's like... I've seen both sides get fucked by this. Because, like, I have friends who are straight white dudes. And they're like, I worked hard. And then they promoted... They told me I would never be promoted because I'm white. And it's like, what the fuck? What's the point of working? Working hard if I can never go up because they have their diversity quoted me. That shit sucks. And I feel bad for that. But like at the same time, three white dudes are just on top. And you look at like objectively who has the most promotions and raises and across the board it's street white dudes. So it's like Yeah, they had their chance. I I think ideal situation, you promote who's most qualified. The problem is, we have a lot of shitty people, because, you know, straight white dudes are still at the top. And I'm not saying every straight white, straight white dude sucks. But, like, the majority of people at the top of these businesses, at these companies, straight white dudes that pick like them. And so, if you say, pick who's most qualified, they use that as an excuse to only promote straight white dudes let someone else play for it never been promoted at any job I got a pay raise I was late every day to work for a decade and got promoted constantly it makes no sense hmm if you were late every day for a decade that sounds like someone valued the actual work you do and was like, I don't give a shit if they're late. Especially if you were, like, staying late. If you were, like, late 10 minutes, stay late 10 minutes. That'll get under some people's skin. But some people be like, whatever. They do a good job at the end of the day. I... When I, when I worked at Tech Systems... It was, it was a 50-minute commute, so typically I was within, like, five minutes. Um, it, it was, like, six to seven in the morning, so there weren't many people on the road. And so I pretty much knew, I leave at this time, I get there at this time. I think I was late once because of traffic on the freeway. Like, a, a garbage truck had fallen over, and so... Um, I ended up being, like, five or ten minutes late because of that. Uh, but then that was just for a year for three years I then lived across the street from my work so I would literally like leave with 10 minutes to work not 10 minutes 5 minutes to work and get there right at like 8.59 um, it was super easy to be right on time because you know I was across the street 
I never really had to deal with, like, being later on time. Um. I also, like, didn't have bosses that particularly cared. We had clock in, clock out. But I don't think they were, like, we... I don't think we ever had anyone counting the minutes. At least they never talked to me about it. And then we never had somebody, like, watching the door. We might have had a supervisor that was, like... You know, if they were walking by the door and you came in, they'd be like, Whoa! Someone had a rough day in traffic, it looks like. We might have, have had one person like that. But I never had a boss that was like, Hey, you're late. What the fuck? That sounds so... Ugh. I don't know. On one hand, I had a great workplace. Everybody was pretty chill. Everybody was pretty nice. I got along with everybody. I never had an employee. I never had a coworker that was like, dude, I fucking hate this guy and he makes me miserable. There were some, like, kind of nasty things that I learned about later on. Like, there was a guy named Bruce, and he needed back surgery. And the bosses told him, hey, we want you to quit. We want you to quit, go have your back surgery, and then when you apply, it'll be like an auto-accept. You'll just get right back in. But basically, they didn't want the company uh, health insurance to pay for his back surgery. Which is super legal, by the way. You're not allowed to tell employees to like, hey, we don't want to cover you on our health insurance, so quit, and then you can come back. But the implication was... I know a lot of people in the telecom industry, and I will blacklist you. And so, you might get your surgery paid for, but we'll find a reason to fire you, and you will not get a job outside of McDonald's again. Hi, honey. That's super illegal, and super fucked up. And that's something my company did. Which is like, what the fuck? That sounds crazy illegal. Oh, it is. It very much is. I would have recorded that conversation. He didn't think he needed to. This guy was cool. The boss that did this, we all thought he was awesome. Because, like, he didn't care about being 10 minutes late. He lets you take uh, unpaid time off whenever you needed. He gave out bonuses. He was genuinely cool. About he gave raises out a lot. But this guy needed back surgery, and he went to him and was like, You should quit and we'll rehire you. I think this will be best for your career. And the guy did. The guy... The guy was scared that, you know... He wouldn't be able to work after the back surgery. And so he, uh, he quit. And I don't know if he came back. When he would have came back, we were all work from home with COVID, so I don't think he did, but... That shit... When I learned about that, it was like, oh, I see. I thought my place was cool. But maybe I'm just the straight white dude, or at least I think I'm all straight white dude. And so I just don't see the worst of it. Speaking of funny workplace stories, <laughs> um, <laughs> this TikToker, she was stealing from Target, I think it was, every day. She'd go to Target, and she would steal some items. And every now and then they caught her, but they'd just be like, we don't care, go. And so she thought they just liked her. And had given her the okay to, like, steal shit. So for three years, she would steal just a little bit here, a little bit there. Nothing too major, just small things. The moment she got over $3,000, they sued her. They had a massive file on her that was like... Here's a recording and evidence of $3,000 worth of you stealing stuff. Which, 3,000 of the cutoff of, like, okay, you go to jail now. 
This isn't like a fine. This isn't like we ban you from Target. This is like... You've hit the threshold of jail time. And so... She's like, They did this to me. They planned this. They waited for me. Building a file to get to $3,000. Just so they could send me to jail. And it's like... Mother... Bitch, you don't get to play the victim. You stole $3,000! The audacity. The sheer, like... Mental gymnastics. To be like, I'm the victim here. They... They planned this. They set me up. And she went and cried about it to TikTok? Yep. Yep. Absolutely insane. The, I I can't get over. She stole three thousand dollars, and thinks she's the victim, because they set her up. Bet Target even got some angry tweets about it. Probably, but man, don't care, didn't ask. That's a fucking wild one to me. That's a fucking like, who the hell do you think you are? I'm still eating like shit, guys. My, uh... While my family was visiting, my parents made a ton of food, and so I was breaking my calories. Uh, my calorie counting, right? I was breaking my diet a lot. We're not through it yet. <laughs> there is... one thing left to eat. Basically, my mom made banana bread. And she made cake frosting for it. And all the banana bread is gone. But when she made the cake frosting, half of it got used on the banana bread, and half it was like, well, do I just throw this out? I don't know. And she just put it in a container. And so... <laughs> when my family left, she was like, do we just throw this container out? I was like, don't you dare. I love that shit. I will take it. I don't have anything to put the cake frosting on, so... I've literally been eating cake frosting with a spoon. Just picking at it a little bit. This morning and yesterday. I'll get through it eventually, but like, oh my god. I fucking love cake frosting, okay? Nothing pisses me off more... Than having cake... Seeing cake frosting... And then it's just whipped cream. I get so sad over that. Because whipped cream is just like, ugh, whatever. But cake frosting? Oh my god, it's so good. That must be really good frosting on Lesson of Frosting. I love it. It was better with the banana bread. Like, it would be better with something to it. Like, I'm literally just taking a spoon and just clunk. Clunk. Might prefer whipped cream, honestly. Oh, not me. Not me. Whipped cream is too, like, foamy to me. I don't like how it's, like... I don't know. I don't like it. <sighs> I like the, uh... I don't particularly like the taste of whipped cream. I definitely don't like how light and foamy it is. This is like there's a heaviness to it, and I like the taste better. There was this cake we got in my old office for birthdays that had, like, strawberries and whipped cream. Holy shit, it was insane. There was, um... The first year I was working at that job I talked about, for New Year's, they got us cupcakes. But they didn't get, like, hey, we're going to the grocery store and buying, like, a little plastic tray of cupcakes. This was like, no. We went to the official gourmet cupcakes site where each cupcake costs $15 and they bought one of these fancy cupcakes they're like muffin size too for everybody in the office that shit was awesome 
that probably sounds lame to you. It's not lame. So, Octomage, have we have you been here when I've talked about my taste buds? Because they're fucking busted. <laughs> um, I need things to be the same texture. I need taste to not be overwhelming. And now, like, I'm so picky with, like, two to three different things. I heard you say you don't enjoy Mexican food, which is insane. British cuisine is, like, the best food to me. For my specific taste. You could literally give me a loaf of bread and I'm like, ah, a perfect meal. My favorite meal is literally buttered spaghetti. I make, I make noodles. I put them in the fridge for a day because that way they kind of chill out and don't have as much water in them. Put a chunk of, I can't believe it's not butter on them. Microwave that for a minute. Literal perfect meal to me. Um, soda. I air. Too long didn't read. Elon hates flavor. I kind of do. It's overwhelming. Carbonation is literally painful to me. And like most flavor, it's just like, oh god, it just makes me like gag and kicks back. Nuftratel cheese plus half a cup of sugar plus cool yum yum frosting. Mmm. -hmm. Buttered nudes are incredible. I did very much enjoy the joke. Where I was like, hey, do you want to see some nudes? And people would be like, what? Uh, okay. And you send them the anime girls that are shaped in like the spaghetti. And then they're just like, okay, dude. Shit's funny to me every time. Um, I think people have seen it too much at this point, though, so I never get anyone with it anymore. But, you know, five years ago, every time. Um, I like most meats, but I don't like seasoning the meats. So, like, my dad will cook burgers or steaks, and everyone will be seasoned, and then mine over here will be, like, just completely unseasoned. Um... But I have a sweet tooth. I do love sugar. I could fucking... Oh my god. I devour... I, if it wasn't unhealthy, I would just devour sugar. You love meat? Who would have thought? Okay, buddy. We're at 1.1 miles already. Holy cow, we're cruising. <laughs> Here's another story I saw on Reddit. This one's kind of sad. But basically, this guy was married for like six or seven years. And he found out his wife was cheating on him for at least a year. Like, probably more, but at least a year she was cheating on him. And he knew. But there wasn't much he could do. Because financially... He was just stuck. He couldn't afford the divorce. He definitely wouldn't have been able to afford anything after the divorce. He was just, like, stuck in this marriage. And so, like, he literally had to go to bed with this woman. And she figured it out. She knew that he knew what was stuck. So she was kind of just like, oh, cool. I can just keep doing this and he can't do shit. Awesome. So she kept doing it and being less secretive. He would go out for, like weekends with the girls like once every two months it was like hey me and the girls are going out for a weekend friday come back monday and he was like uh-huh yeah have fun well on her way back from one of these she gets in a car accident and fucking dies and so this dude's like i don't feel bad i feel like i should i loved her but after this past year of, like, going through the hell of knowing she's cheating and having to, like, look her in her fucking eyes, I'm just relieved. I'm just happy about this. He got a big payout from life insurance. Doesn't have to go through the divorce. Doesn't have to split the earnings. 
he's just fucking free from the situation. Which is like, damn. On one hand, you know, I don't want to say she deserved it. But this is kind of like the perfect outcome for him. But at the same time, it feels a little dirty celebrating someone's death, right? Like, unless it's someone really, really evil, like Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, I don't like the thought of celebrating someone's death. Even really nasty people, like Dr. Disrespect or Arcadum, I wouldn't be comfortable celebrating their death. But, like... Because this person's death meant this other person's happiness, then it's like, oh, hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. LOL, I mean, I get it. Get wrecked. I do too. Like, I get it, but I'm like... I'm a little uncomfortable with this. Don't worry, I'll celebrate for you. Hi, Riddle. Good morning, my sweet, sweet meat cake. Also, thank you for being awesome, Elon. Thank you. Huh. I don't know. By the way, do you have notes on Sketch's situation? I do. I do. I've watched two videos on it. For anybody who doesn't know, there's the streaming group Phase Clan. Streaming slash YouTube group. They're pretty well known. They're an esports org. I think for the most part, they just do content creation. But they're a big fucking deal. One of their main, one of their members, Phase Sketch. He's he has literally been there from like the beginning. Um, I forget his catchphrase. It's when he sticks his finger up and he goes, "Uh, but actually," or something like that. Um, he literally announced like an NFL draft pick. For like the Dallas Cowboys or something. People fucking know this guy. He's a big deal. Well. Somebody found his OnlyFans account. From before FaZe Clan. He used to do gay porn. And he had scrubbed the account. He had tried to hide all traces of it. But people found it. People found out. And, um, particularly this one guy found out and made a YouTube video about it. And this video's been blowing up. And everyone's like, holy shit, Sketch used to do gay porn. Whoa. Now keep in mind, he hasn't done anything wrong. He was gay. That's what he did. But a lot of people are acting like <laughs> he's the Antichrist. Like, it's the worst thing ever. Was gay? Okay, I think he probably still is gay. But the thing is, he used to do gay porn. And people are blowing up over this. And they're like, I'll never let my son watch Sketch again. And it's like, what the fuck? His crime is that he was gay. <laughs> um. Apparently, when it first got leaked, uh, he was panicking. Didn't know what to do. Left the FaZe house. Went to the airport. They called him and they were like, Bro, where are you? And he's like, I'm at the airport. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry for involving you in all of this. And they're like, Bro, you're our, you're a boy? Get the fuck back here. No one's mad. And he was like, okay. So he comes back. Um, He made a video talking about it, cracking a lot of jokes. This is, this is after the FaZe Clan had, like, talked him down into coming back. He's like, alright, let's... <laughs> there were two jokes he made. He goes live and he's like, alright, everybody, let's address the elephant in the room. New haircut. <laughs> no, we're gonna talk about the gay porn. Yes, I used to do gay porn. I did not have sexual relations with that man. But actually, I did. A lot of times. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Fucking dude. Um... He, uh, people are probably going to rip on him for a bit. People are probably going to, you know, make a lot of gay jokes. Um, 
hopefully that's just dudes being dudes. Um. But there are a lot of people that are just going to be nasty about it. There are people that have genuinely said, like, I'll never let my son watch Sketch. He's going to turn him gay. And it's like, you... You would have, you were fine letting him watch him before. You didn't catch any, like, he's turning the kids gay vibes from him before. Ugh. Ugh. I know. I, I have never heard good things about Faze. I've always heard that they were, like, a really big deal in setting up content creation and video gaming and esports. They've been a big part of that for a long time. But, like, I think they did a crypto coin at one point. And so I've always been like, oh, this fucking blood. I don't give a shit about face Caitlyn. But I... I don't know. They stood by their boy with this, and I'm happy for that. Seems like a normal dude. I have a story similar, but I talk after stream. After stream? Okay was gay oh the mr beast friend thing again i don't think it's the mr beast thing i do know what you're talking about there mr beast has a friend um that is trans and a lot of people are like he's taking advantage of mr beast he's gone they're just like shut up oh that's pretty funny those are the type of friends you need yeah the dude plays video games he probably focuses on that. My mother thought me having a gay bestie would turn me gay. Oh yeah, save the kids. A crypto token was a rug pull. I won't let my kids watch Gay Man. Send kids to church to a gay pastor. Me seem like a win to me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I... You... You... <laughs> You could get me to fucking go off on Christians and Christianity. And I'm like, no, 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 not today. We've done that a little bit too much the past few days. Let's let's stay away from it. But I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> don't even get me started. Now you done it. Now you got me started. Yes, I did have a phase clan in my notes. Yeah, Shapiro also uses that line. Oh, the but actually one. Yeah, but Shapiro does it unironically. And Shapiro is a fucking idiot. Sketch is funny. Shapiro's just a loser. <laughs> I I really like the H Bomber guy clip with Shapiro, where Shapiro's like, The water's rising? Well what's the big deal? If your house is on the water, just sell it. An H Bomber guy breaks through the wall. And who's gonna buy it, Shapiro? Fucking Aquaman! No, the I won't let my kids watch Mr. Beast again? Really? Dude, I do not understand people that hate Mr. Beast. Because I used to hate Mr. Beast, right? It gets really hard. He does one thing wrong and you're like, Oh, I don't like this guy. But then he does ten things that are like, I restored sight to a thousand blind people. I led a charity that planted a trillion trees. I funded a charity that cleans up the ocean and matched donations. I built a hundred wells to give uh, clean water to a hundred villages. I built a hundred homes in a poverty-stricken country where housing is an issue. And it's like, he keeps doing good things like that, and people are like, I fucking hate him still, and it's like, bro. What is wrong with you? Mr. Beast was like air for me? What do you mean by like air? Hi, Cinevox. Thank you for the follow. I didn't like Mr. Beast for his VR chat video. He did a VR chat talent show like five years ago. And it was handled really poorly. Um. He gave the contestants six months to make an animation. Some of them dropped out of college, going all out for this, because $50,000 was life change. The $50,000 was the prize money. Um, some of them dropped out of college. It got way too competitive. And then when it actually came time to show, of the 30 contestants, they actually only looked at 18 of them. 12 of them just, like, got sat out. 
And that shit sucks. That's really unfortunate. But this was early on in his career. And it was literally like a perfect lesson for him of like, oh, do not give people six months for a competition. Money can change a lot of people's lives and they will do drastic sacrifices to get money. Do not give them the opportunity. And so now when he ever tries to do a challenge, there's no like long amount of time to it. It's come down for a weekend. Come down for a day. We're going to do this right here, right now. We're not doing the six months thing. He he learned from the VR chat thing. Um, I didn't. I really didn't like him because, you know, somebody I watched was one of the twelve, and like they were crushed and they were like, "I hate Mr. Beast," yada yada yada. But I mean, you know, you chose to drop out of college for that. Hi, Kisu. At some point, you gotta accept some responsibility, right? Like you could have not dropped out of college for this. Um, but then it was like, you know, over the next few years, all those things I mentioned, runs a charity to plant a trillion trees, uh, runs a charity to clean up the ocean and matches donations, restores sight to a thousand blind people, 100 homes to homeless people, 100 wells in villages that don't have clean wells, like literally just the nicest charities that somebody with money can do. My problem with him is that it feels like he has a hero complex, which is a very dangerous thing. I think that's stupid. Hi, Mathies. I don't give a shit if he has a hero complex. You wanna know why? Because he's still doing heroic stuff. If he restores sight to a thousand people, and then he's like, but I need to show this on YouTube. Fucking smile. Thank me. Call me your hero. Call me I'm the coolest person in the world. At the end of the day, he still restored their sight. Right? I don't think any one of those people that he's helped is like, Oh, he's doing it for clout? Ugh. Well, now I don't even want it. Take my eyes back. Take my eyesight away. If you're just doing this for clout, I don't want it. You won't find a single person that he's helped doing that. It might be annoying, but at the end of the day, they're gonna be like, whatever. I can still fucking see now, right? I don't get the impression of a hero complex. I know a lot of people do, Matthews. I look at like the actual, like, what is he doing? And the argument is he's doing it for sensationalist news, to drum up business, to fund more cool things. That's what he will tell you. Which sounds like a very believable reason to me. I can agree with that. I can see that it's a very convenient excuse, though. You know, that might not be the case at all. And that's just the perfect excuse he's telling people. Hi, Gail. But I think what matters is at the end of the day, people are being helped by it. Um, Yulin is a bitch. What the fuck? This this discussion comes up a lot in My Hero Academy. Because there's a hero killer who's like, I'm gonna kill the fake heroes. I'm gonna kill all the heroes that aren't real heroes. They're not like All Might. They only do it for money. They only do it for recognition. And it's like... That doesn't matter. What does is that they're doing heroic stuff. Right? If somebody, if somebody in My Hero goes to a burning building, saves five people, and then he's a complete asshole. He's like, hey, pose for pictures with me. Tell me I'm your favorite hero. Uh, do, do smile right for the camera so that they get, so that they show me with all the people I saved. None of them are going to be like, God, this guy is such an asshole. I'm going back in the burning building. I don't want to be saved by this guy. Hi, dog. I feel like it just doesn't matter. It's always the people who have no skin in the game to try to take the non-existent high ground. I feel like... I do respect Matthew's take on it. Because Matthew's gives a lot and he doesn't particularly does it do it for recognition 
this channel is fucking funded by Matthews, right? Like, I, <laughs> I have as much nice things as I do because of Matthews. And he has never been like, I did this, you owe me this. We joke about I owe him Outlast Trials, and when, if, when he asks for it, he'll get it. But he's, Matthews has never in his life been like, I have given you this much. It's time to pay back. I've, I've never had that with Matthews. So, like, I, I definitely recognize his, I definitely, not recognize, that's not the word. When he says he does it for, when he says Mr. Beast has a hero complex, I don't just brush it off. I'm pushing back on it, but I'm like, you're a fucking idiot, Matthews. No, I, Matthews has done a lot of fucking work and a lot of walking the walk and not just talking. I feel like the hero complex thing is pretty similar to religious people. People straight up call them diabolic for fixing people eyesight. Yeah, one hour until last epoch first cycle. Ooh, yeah. I saw that I had a down or an update ready for it. From what I've heard, Mr. Beats gets like fuck all his profit because each video is bigger than the last one at the time. That's what I have heard also air, but that has come from Mr. Beast. So that is a grain of salt. You gave me a thousand bucks. I don't care whether it's because you're kind or you think it's funny. I'm taking the cash and bailing. They do good deeds because their daddy Sky Wizard said so, and they'll get in heaven for it. But they still helped. Of course, you gotta make sure they aren't doing bad deeds too in the name of their religious, obviously. Mm hmm. I did taxes. Good job, Doc. I own you lend a lot. Wait a minute. See, here's the problem, you. What most people forget about a hero complex is that if that person isn't being the hero, he doesn't want it to happen at all. Or if it's more severe, they will cause things so that they can be a hero. Which is a very dangerous thing. 100% yes. Um, I'm pretty sure Mr. Beast, that doesn't apply to either of him. But that is a scary thing for sure. Um, if somebody wants to be the hero, and they are causing stuff to happen. Like we've, we've seen so many fucking fictional situations of this. DC Comics, Marvel Comics, um, what was, is there a Disney movie about it? I think it's Wish? I think that one was where, like, the Wish guy was making problems so that he could be the city's hero, or something like that. Um, oh no, there's another movie. There's another movie where, like, the fake hero is the villain, and I can't remember what it is. Oh. He do be having a fuck ton of money to spend? Like paying for private jets for his friends to visit him? I'm sure outside the videos he has way more than enough to spare. For sure. For sure. It's awesome that he's doing such great things and I'm happy he's doing it. But a hero complex is a slippery slope. I agree. I agree. I don't want to go after him until he proves wrong though. Right? There's people that are like really after his ass. Like when he built the 100 homes in Jamaica and he built the 100 wells in Kenya, people were like, look at this racist ass white savior. Fuck him. He's literally coming into these black countries just so that he can portray himself as a white savior. He's so racist. And it's like, what? Do you want him to never help Black people? Like... What? <laughs> I'm probably gonna be safe in it. And go with Cold Bear build. I don't know how much time I have for it, Gale. I need to finish Final Fantasy first, and then I'm gonna go in it. Hi, Cairo. I'm fucking late. Oh yeah, the people super on him for this stuff are fucking lunatics. Yeah. Those are the people that I... I cannot stand. I understand being critical of him and being like, do not glorify him too much. Like you said, hero complex, slippery slope, very much a real problem. I don't think he's abused it yet. I think he's done a lot of good. But man, there's people that just... I don't think he's perfect. I think he's fucked up quite a few times. 
Case in point, the VR Chat talent show. But man. <laughs> this dude builds a hundred wells in villages in Kenya that do not have clean water. In these villages, the people have to like walk three to five hours somewhere, get a like tank of water, carry that three to five hours back, and that's their water for like the next two days. Or just that day. And that's what they get. <laughs> One second, I need to clear my throat. Hi, Techno Rave. Um, he builds wells for these. And people are like, he's only doing this to be a white savior. Actually, this isn't even that good. Because in a hundred years, those wells won't be clean and usable. They'll be just as bad as the dirty water they have now. It's like, motherfucker, what? What? They have clean water now! That's a good thing! If it lasts 10 years or 100 years, or he, like, sets up a system to, like, maintain it, or they maintain it themselves! He has just given them something. What the fuck is wrong with you? Charity is, in fact, racist. I don't do FF, so I can just go for Ellie. Mm hmm. At this point, I just think some have brain rot. For sure. Hi, Bale. I mean, hi, Snow Bunny, Cairo. Ah, hi, Cairo and Gale. Meeting's not now, but in an hour. Ah. Morning, Lind. Hi, Riddle. Hello, Jan. Technorave. Hi, hi. Ah. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of people that are... much further up in line to hate compared to Mr. Beast, right? Clearly, if he actually cared, he would install full water treatment facilities and sewage systems and hire people to run them. Clearly. There is a fray next to you. Hug the fray. I will pat the fray. Hugging is hard on treadmill. Curse you, Vale. The TikTokers that, like, they do the Mr. Beast format, but they just do pranks... I think it's a lot easier to hate those guys. People who complain about him. I'd say most of them would gladly take like 20 grand from him if given the opportunity. But you know what's crazy, Air? They say, they will say that they won't. I remember when Ludwig gave to a Palestinian charity. Because of the Israel-Palestine War, Ludwig gave $10,000 to a Palestinian charity. And there was some YouTuber, or like some Twitch streamer, who was like, This guy, he's just doing it for clout. He's just doing it to make himself look good. Take it back. We don't want your 10,000. Take it back. And it's like, bitch, you live in the UK where you're nice and comfy. You don't get to say, take it back, when you're not even there. Oh my god. I hereby vow you will rue this day. Hi, hi, hottie. Yeah, like, you'll and hate, you'll and hate love. <laughs> what? Bro? At our new farm. This well is more than 50 years old and my bro tried the water. I have, like, trash and plastic in it. Dude's still alive and the water is okay. I mean, so, like, at its worst, they could still get water from this well. And then just have a way to treat the water up top. Have like a filter, like a manual pump filter. And that would save them a shit ton of effort. But like... Oh my god. Thank you, Cryro, for this quote. Hey, Frey, hi, hi. Yeah, it's just because it doesn't affect them. Hmm. This reminds me of that one time Obama bombed a country and English-speaking people were like, You did too much too late. And the people who lived in the country celebrated the help? Hmm. I don't think people on the internet should have opinions. Filter or boil the water? Or both, right? 
Um, either way, a dirty well with a filter up top that's a manual pump is way fucking better than walking five miles to a water station and then walking five miles back with a fucking giant bucket of water. Like... There's no... There's no comparison between the two. One is obviously better. Through it all realities. <laughs> okay, this one's less dumb, but it's still dumb. I wrote it down in my notes. Subreddit has been a gold mine the last two days. Subreddit Reddit has been a gold mine the last two days. Somebody went on the VR chat subreddit this morning. And the title of this thread was Would I be made fun of if I'm a man and I use a female avatar? And the paragraph was like, I found this avatar, it's really perfect, but it's a girl. Will I get made fun of a lot for using it? Is it is it bad? And all the comments were like, my brother. You are describing 80% of VR chat. You are going to be fine. <laughs> What, you mean boil the water, just dodge the bacteria easy? 99% of VR chat. I wouldn't say 99. I would say... <laughs> Me, dude, you are okay. I would say, like, 40% of VR chat is guys that use female avatars. Maybe 50%. And then I would say, like, 30% is actual girls. And then 20% is dudes that use dude avatars. Hi, Fox Tato. That's like 80% of all video games that let you have a female avatar. I find people fall into two categories. They either fall into the group of... I like seeing myself in the story. So I make a, ga a guy character. Or I don't see myself in the story. And I like seeing a cool, cute character. And they make a girl. And then, you know, there's a lot of different facets of that. There's a lot of people who I see myself as the vision I want to see. If I make a girl character. There's a whole bunch of them, but like... It was crazy to me growing up when people didn't understand the other side, right? But like, people would make a guy. And they'd be like, yeah, this is what I would be like. And people would make a girl and it's like, you made a girl? What are you, gay? And it's like... No. And they would respond with like, I like staring at girls' butts. Are you gay? Why aren't you staring at a girl's butt? You're gonna stare at a, a human dude's ass for 200 plus hours in World of Warcraft? Gay. And so like, both of them could use the logic of, I'm not the gay one, you're the gay one. But it really comes down to your train of thought with this, right? For the longest time, I didn't envision myself in these stories. I like seeing a cool character and having a story about them. And so I would always play girl characters. Um, and then I kind of kind of started seeing myself as girl characters for a bit. But it started off as like, I don't see myself as this. Um, it wasn't until like two years ago that I made my first character that I was like, I'm going to make a character that looks like me. I'm going to try and make me in a video game. And when I did that, I was like, oh, I see the appeal of this. I get it. This is fucking clicking in my head. This is really cool having me there. Just dodge the bacteria. Me, dude, you are okay. Ah. Did you stumble upon the VR chat video of someone's mom trying VR chat? No, I didn't. There were, that happened a lot on streams like four years ago. That was like the thing of bring your mom into VR chat. You're forgetting the furries? I am. Well, I kind of think furry isn't directly connected to, like, if you're making a guy or girl avatar. I would like to use a guy model, but I can never find one I don't hate. That is actually a problem. There's way more female avatars. Yes, if you had a female avi in VR chat, I'd make fun of you and then tease you. And then I'd flirt with you. Pick whatever is better, guy or girl. Like in ZZZ. This guy design is mid as fuck. 
I mean, it. I wouldn't say it's mid, but the girl has like orange to per, uh, no, she has blue to orange highlights. You're literally obligated to pick the girl, Cairo. A little pixel. I just say they don't want immersion. I play girls because gender affirmation. Ayuki. I flip a coin because what? Because one gender, I means nothing to me. Me when I'm yo young. No, I'm not gay. Me now. I think I am spank, bro. I would try to be whatever the dumbest character is, male or female. Gumroads are so bad, and that is where like 80% of male models are. Her design is clearly better. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's as even as Genshin Impact. In Genshin Impact, both the guy and the girl are like top tier designs. In ZZZ, I think the girl's like an eight and the guy's like six or seven. I guess that is pretty mid. Did you see Hachima's new outfit? She works at Wendy's? No, I didn't. Emo or meme? There's not else. <laughs> the big Hollow Live news I saw was the Dodgers game stuff. Which, you know, for VTubers is pretty fucking cool. That's like really big. ZZZ clearly wants you to goon the girls from what I saw. Yep, I saw how awful the line was. The line was bad. That's fine. If that many people are going to line up for merch, that makes sense. What I do think was bad is that they didn't take protections against scalpers, and they were letting people buy multiples of stuff. And so people were buying, like, Dodger shirts with the Hollow Live collab and immediately listing them. And it's like, ugh, fuck you. Fuck scalpers. People stood in line for 10 hours for the merch to sell out? Yeah. Why the fuck was a VTuber at a Dodgers game? Because All Alive and the Dodgers did a collab. And uh, it was Gargura, Suise, and Pekora. They did a collab with the Dodgers. Gargura actually sang the um, Take Me Out to the Ball Game song. Uh, and it was it was it was a really cool crossover that a lot of people are like, holy shit, whoa, this is this is fucking happening. They do plenty of collabs. They have fucking Hello Kitty night. Japan loves baseball more than America does, is why they really do. But suddenly VTubers are too far, Techno. I don't think Techno's in the know about that. I didn't know that. Also, like, so, like, there were some dramas with it, right? People were like, we gotta deal with the weeb problem. The weebs are taking over. And it's like, bitch, how many baseball games happen a year? Like, 800 or something? I don't know the number. But literally hundreds of baseball games a year. One of them. One baseball game has a Hololive, a VTuber collab. But this is this is a VTuber infection we gotta get rid of? Shut up. I mean, there isn't a weed problem, it just isn't for me. No, I'm not talking about you, Techno Rave. I'm talking about some woman that, like, tweeted that, like, we need to deal with the weed problem. And it was just like... Shut up, hater. You... I don't think you have a problem at all. I think you maybe worded it a little... Abrasively. Abrasive means, like, coming off strong, coming off giving, like, rough. Oh, you're fine, Techno Wraith. Also, nice pun, you and Techno. Techno. Oh, my goodness. We are at 2.7 miles. Oh, God, that unhinged woman with three followers. Right? No, the big drama was scalpers. The other little dramas were, um, people complaining about weebs, people complaining about Hololive, whatever. 
Speaking of Hello Kitty, I have a cursed fact. The creators of Hello Kitty said Kitty isn't a cat, but a little girl. But they've called her boyfriend a cat. Why is she not a cat? How is she not a cat? Is she a girl that transformed into a cat? Are they just saying she's more cat? That she's more girl than cat? Okay, but she's not real. They're dumb. Hi, cuties. Hi, Ellie. I thought she was a cat. I don't care what the creators say. She's a fucking cat in my eyes. Is she into... Beat won't finish that line. Hi, Ellie and Ellie. Hi, Kit. Hello Kitty is not a cat. She's a cartoon character. She's a little girl. She is a friend, but she's not a cat. She's never depicted on all fours. She walks and sits like a two-legged creature. She does not have a pet cat of her own. However, she is a pet cat of her own, however, and it's called Charmy Kitty. I feel like that's trying to, like, split hairs over the most dumbest thing with a fictional art. To me, that's, like, a just a non-thing. That's, like, she's very clearly a cat, but they're like, um, actually, she is not genus species cat. They're just Dumbos. You don't need to make her in all fours for her to be a cat. Well, Gumball is a cat, and he's a cat. That was their exact words, though, yeah? No, that is just- that is just an um, actually, she's not a cat because this, but that's like... It's a very, very minor thing. That's being pedantic. What's another story I got? Skydance bought Paramount. The Paramount Pictures, Paramount Films, they've been bought out by media producer Skydance. This affects Nickelodeon, Comedy Central, CBS, MTV, and some of their licensed properties like Star Trek and Top Gun. Didn't really affect anything I cared about. But Paramount Pictures, purchased by Skydance, who I've never fucking heard of before, they sold for $8 billion. So good for them, I guess? Me hearing people say, we need to fix the weed problem. Me in a Dracula flow voice? This means nothing to me, man. And is bipedal. Well, Gumball does have moments where he gets on all fours and acts like a cat and hisses. If they took a strong stance of, like, never ever depict her on all fours, whatever. I can see how it's different in their eyes. But in my eyes, it's like, hey, can you not be annoying? She's a fucking cat. <laughs> I also found out that in some older Mickey Mouse stuff, they'd call each other humans? Oh, that's weird. I love when industries are being more monopolized. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Here's something else I saw that was really funny. So, Dr. Disrespect, sexting minors, pretty much canceled on everything. In 2021, he was part of a DLC for the game Predator. Predator is a game where you can play as a monster and fight humans, or you can play the humans and fight these monsters. But in this DLC, Dr. Disrespect is the Predator, he's the monster. And it's like, most games, most games are like, hey, we got to take Dr. Disrespect out. You know, he's a pedophile. Get him out of here. Uh, we don't want this associated with our game anymore. But Predator is like, okay, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Do we leave him in? <laughs> I kind of hope they leave him in because that's really fucking funny. 
Um, actually, she's a cat girl, not a cat. Yeah. Oh, yes, I love Microsoft Activision Blizzard. Man, I remember thinking Adventure Time was a show for kids till I watched an episode. My mind was broken. Adventure Time is a show about kids going through adult problems. And Regular Show is a show about adults just trying to be kids and dealing with kid problems. Those two shows go hand in hand. Ugh, you? I was gonna ask about that too. Also, Dracula Flow reference appreciated. That is awesome. Adventure Time is incredible. For a company to not immediately retcon it and instead embrace the meme. I've never watched a regular show. Regular show. It's very funny. It's about these two fucking idiots that work at a park. Um. And they just. Literally, they just don't have any sense of responsibility and obligation. And, like, they're just two dudes that never grew up. Um, and, uh, their boss is way too nice to them. And, like, lets them get away with too much. But he yells at them a lot. He does yell at them a lot, but he never fires them. Or maybe he does once or twice, but they make up for it. There's a lot of, like, hey, we need to do the right thing and make it up to you. Sorry, boss. But, like, they almost never learn their lesson. Because it's not, like, fucking real-world problems. It's like, hi, Zuby. They were being assholes. They weren't doing their job well. And then, like, a cosmic being from the middle of the sun comes back to life and is going to destroy the planet because they didn't do their job and refill the soda fountain. And then they defeat the cosmic being... And everything's fixed. And their boss is just like, this never would have happened if you just listened to me and fixed the fucking soda fountain, you idiots. And they're like, hey, we did it in the end. Whoa! <laughs> like, that's, that's literally fucking regular show. <laughs> regular show over Adventure Time, for me at least. To no surprise of anyone, the king of basketball. One episode had them playing rock, paper, scissors for so long that they almost caused the end of the world. God of basketball. The episode I remember is that Rigby, he's a little raccoon guy. Mordecai, he's a fucking big blue jay who's like three times the size of Rigby. And anytime they have a d disagreement, they say, let's play punchies for it. Well, obviously the one that's three times the size of the other one always wins. Because anytime he punches Rigby, Rigby like fucking breaks his arm and goes flying across the room. But when Rigby punches Mordecai, it's just my turn. And he fucking wails on Rigby. Rigby never wins. So Rigby goes to this karate class. And he learns, like, death kwando. But, like, he's only learning self-defense moves. So he steals the secret technique of the death punch. So that when he punches people, they literally fucking explode. Like, literally, they get vaporized. And if he punches, like, the ground, he's literally creating craters. And so he goes and is playing punchies with everybody, literally killing anybody that gets in his way, and running things like a tyrant. Um, and he's just waiting for Mordecai. He cannot wait to get back at Mordecai and fucking obliterate him. But Mordecai finds out that he's learned the death punch. And so Mordecai goes and learns the death block. Also, to do these moves... You have to wear, like, Daisy Duke shorts, a white tank top, like a white wi wife beater, and have a mullet. So Mordecai shows up, Daisy Duke shorts, wife beater, mullet, and Rigby's like, It's time for punchies, Mordecai. And Mordecai's like, I couldn't agree more. And Rigby's just like, I'll kill you, and tries to fucking punch him. And Mordecai just does the death block. That's it. Literally just the turn and, like, take it with your arm, the death block. <laughs> and so Rigby can't do anything to him. But he's so mad and so frustrated with having lost punchies for years. He's just, like, losing it and going crazy and keeps trying to punch Mordecai. This is creating a crater that goes down further and further into the ground. To the point that they hit lava. And they're creating a volcano. <laughs> Which is where they have, like, 
Okay, now we're dealing with stupid kid problems. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this isn't real. And Mordecai realizing that they're going to die if he keeps doing this and how he's been, like, not a good friend to Rigby. He just goes, Oh, man, you beat me. That's crazy. Whoa, you're so cool. And that's all Rigby needed was just to win once. That's the episode I remember the most. The only good thing about regular show is Pops. That's... I disagree wholeheartedly, Lost One. There's so many good memes from regular show. Bemo. Do we really grow up? Or we are just kid with something along the line of trauma? This show is the Book of Wisdom. You should talk about the episode where Skips fucking kills Rigby. I don't remember that episode specifically. I don't doubt it happening, but I don't remember what happened in that episode. I watched it a lot in college. I have not watched much of it since. I remember at one point, they got a new character, which was this goat named Billy, I think. And, uh... He, he kind of seemed like a wimp and, like, was too nice to everybody. And then, like, they were kind of taking advantage of him. And at one point, Muscle Man's like, Uh, Billy, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. And, like, Billy just fucking does a flip onto Muscle Man, locks his head in a leg lock, and then just does, a, like, a fucking... Chun Li twist, slamming Muscle Man into the ground to the point that he's winded. Thank you, Octal Mage. That's one percent. Ah. That shit was awesome. Oh yeah, literally everything with Muscle Man is incredible. Every single joke with Muscle Man is amazing. I lost one. I feel your pain. Mr. Yulin, 27th of August, Core Keeper 1.0 is releasing. Oh, shit. See, guys, just so that you can my tier. At least let your bro flop your ones. I like Steven Universe 2. I think they had a regular show crossover. My mom! Woo! I'm, like, trying not to scream into my mic when doing it. I, of those three shows, I like Steven Universe the most. God, I fucking love Steven Universe. But Steven Universe came out after. And Regular Show and Adventure Time, those were airing about the same time, and I felt like they just went hand in hand. Adults dealing with kid problems, kids dealing with adult problems. I really strive to bring that muscle man energy. <sighs> this is the first stream where you were talking about something that I am actually familiar with. I hate muscle man. How can you hate Muscle Man? Steven Universe is so incredible. You know who else C equals 8? My mom. I can't stand Steven Universe when they start singing. Okay, here's my here's my experience with Steven Universe. The show premiered. I watched episode 1. I fucking hated this show. I thought Steven Universe was so awful. The character I thought was so dumb. Literally, they're out here trying to save the world, and he's fucking ruining everything. Because he has no sense of concept of how important everything is, and how dangerous everything is. He's literally just, I'm on an adventure, I'm having fun, yay! And that's how it starts. I saw that, and I was like, this show is trash, I'm never watching it again. Then, like a year later, I saw an episode that, um... I saw an episode that, like, I was just like, oh, Steven Universe, this show's still going on? Let's see what it's like now. And it was the fucking, um... It was the finale of season one. This is Garnet. Back together. And I'm never going down at the hands of the likes of you because I'm so much better. That song? I saw that song and I was like, I need to watch Steven Universe. Holy shit, I need to watch Steven Universe. That song just, like... That shit was incredible! The song was good. The fight was good. Like, everything about it was like, whoa. And, like, the stuff happening with Steven, he wasn't like, yay, I'm on a silly little adventure. He's fucking crying his eyes out. He's like, I'm not having fun anymore. I want to go home. I want everybody to be nice. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I think he's learned his fucking lesson. I went back. The first, like, three episodes... God, they're awful. 
They're so painful, but they're important. They're set up for the trauma and pain that comes. They establish that Steven Universe didn't know what the fuck was happening because he's like a 12-year-old kid. And as it goes on, my god does Steven deal with trauma. My god, that is a character in cartoons that like, oh, ooh. Somebody ping Seselden. Somebody ping him real quick, because if we start getting on Steven Universe, I'm like obligated to get him a part of the conversation. Steven Universe is kind of mid in my opinion. I oh, I feel like that's a just wrong. Also, Muscle Man is peak male. Hi, Yuki, a gale. I need to watch Steven. Steven Universe is really good. Thank you, Jan. Hi. Sis, we're talking about Steven Universe. I was talking about how I watched the episode one premiere, and I was like, ah, this show sucks. Steven sucks. I hate this character. Nothing good about this show. And then like a year later, I saw the um the season one finale with uh this is Garnet back together, and I'm never going down at the hands of the likes of you because I'm so much better. And every part of me is saying, go get her. I watched that song and how peak that fucking song was in that fight. And I was like, okay, Steven Universe is incredible. I gotta go rewatch everything. That show peaked with that song, Lamau. Paradogasm. Yeah, I remember that one scene where Legit had a mental breakdown. Oh, yeah. And, like, it happens a lot. And, like, Steven, Steven just deals with shit. And every character deals with shit with how their place was in the Empire. Whether they were at the bottom and not valued as a person, or they were at the top and had so much pressure to uphold this broken system that they thought was what people liked. Um, the uh, Another heavy, heavy, heavy moment I remember was when the three kids... The three teenagers are like, hey, Steven, let's go have fun. He's like, I really shouldn't. I'm like grounded right now. And they're like, dude, fuck that. You've been do working hard and like doing your best. Come on. I undertow. And so they, they take Steven and they go driving. And they're like, man, I'm not as nice and perfect as my sister. They want me to work at the pizza shop like her, but I don't want to. I don't want to spend my life. Just making pizzas. I got other things I want to do. Yeah, my dad's shit too. He's the mayor and so he doesn't want me to have fun. He's like, you're the mayor's son. So you have to be cool and presentable at all times. It's like, man, I just want to be me. Yeah, my dad wants me to fish and like all he cares about is fish. He doesn't care about me DJing. He never supports me. And Steven just goes, My mom died when she gave birth to me. And everybody's really nice to me. But it always feels like they just wish she was here instead of me. But they won't say it. And the car is just fucking silent. And the three teenagers are just like, dude, that's heavy. <laughs> and they're just like, they all just like, dude, my problems, like, I don't feel like they're big anymore. <laughs> Holy shit, this kid is going fucking through it. And then they find Paradox Crash Ship. And it, they almost get hurt because of it. And the gems show up and they're like, Steven, what the fuck, man? And they're mad at Steven. And the teenagers stand up for him. They're like, dude, you've been way too hard on him. This kid is 12. He's going through so much. And the gems are like, you know what? You're right. We're sorry, Steven. We put a lot of pressure. And it's this heartwarming moment. It's just like, oh, God. After that episode, you needed Steven to have a W. You needed him to have a good moment. And, like, when when people say they don't like Steven Universe, I'm like, you watched one or two episodes at the start and you have not seen it. Because how can you not like this show? Steven is such a precious bean. And all the all the gems are like, oh. Maybe I should rewatch it then? Because I haven't seen much of it. It is a slog, the first, like, three to five episodes. And I find Steven Universe really, really fucking annoying. That does not last. The actual trauma, the actual progression of the show, the actual systems, there's no... There's no true villain. It's just a lot of people trying to do right. It is a show that, like, 
every single person in the show, you can see their logic. You can empathize with them. You can see why they're doing it. Very rarely is there a person that's like, I'm bad to be bad. There's no, like, major character that's like, I'm evil just to be evil because I'm Skeletor and I showed up and, yeah. Even, like, the worst of the worst villains, even the most unlikable characters, they have a reason. They have a logic to it. And it's like, I can see it. Just thinking about that show makes me happy. Mm hmm. I says, Peace and Love on the Planet Earth is also a banger track. Mm hmm. Rebecca Sugar is so precious. The, um... Uh, this is Garnet Back Together song. Um... And the, um... What's the song? It's the song that Pearl sings. When she's like, uh... It's over, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it over? That song is just like, ah! Holy shit! It's over, isn't it? Yeah. That song fucking... Good lord. That one makes me feel so sad. Don't watch Steven Universe Future. It's not very poggers. Hmm. He's lying. Even the first, episode, first few episodes are great. I watched episode one and I was like, this is sucks. My ex liked it, so I haven't revisited it. L, I sis. If you knew her, you'd get it. Do it for her! So, where is it? Cookie Cat? It's a cat for your tummy. Cookie Cat. He's super duper yummy. Skeletors are needed. If we didn't have Skeletor, I won't want Skeletor trash talking Destiny 2. Here's the thing I think it's okay now and then to have an evil villain that's like, I'm evil because I'm evil. Xenos from Final Fantasy XIV? That's a damn fucking fun villain. Xenos is a good time. Is he well written? Is he like... Can I empathize with him? Can I like feel his side of the story? No, he's a fucking psychopath. But like... I fucking love Xenos. Handsome Jack the Goat. Oh my god, that Cookie Cat song kill me. Here's the fun fact. The whole Cookie Cat song is an analogy for the Crystal Gems. Cookie Cat, he left his family behind. It's literally just the story of the Crystal Gems. A little fun fact there. Ah. What are we at? 3.6? Yeah, all three of those shows are great. Um... Adventure Time is probably my least favorite of the three. I really like Adventure Time, but I I struggle with the parts where Finn is dealing with the relationships. When you get to, like, F season four or five, and it's like, Finn likes uh, Bubblegum Princess, but he also likes Flame Princess, but he also likes every fucking girl that moves. And he, stop, he won't stop, like, fucking... Thinking that, like, he's owed affection. I don't know. I just found it so cringy. It's realistic. It's realistic because that's how fucking stupid dumb boys are at the age of 15. They're horny and they think things are going to go great for them. And obviously, it doesn't. But, like, watching it as somebody who's way past that age, it's like, oh, God, I hate watching this. I enjoyed the Marcy episodes. That fact is fun. I'm horny. Oops, caps. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. Finn is like... Finn is like me, but way cooler. An ugly troll. That girl never get close to me. Okay. I ship Marcy and Bubblegum. I think everybody does. I think the show fucking ships them. You remind me of me and I don't like it. I'm horny as well. My avatar has two horns. Just like him, for real, for real. Marcy is cool. Marcy is cool, but she's got a lot of fucking trauma that, like, made it real hard for people to talk to her. He comes around. Um. Regular show I liked. It feels less serious, for sure, than the other two. 
they definitely do some growing up, but it doesn't feel like... It feels like all of their trauma, all of their growth is contained within an episode. And the next episode, they're going to be assholes again. It doesn't feel like there's any continuation, so it's... It's okay. I think it's more fun than Adventure Time. And then Steven Universe, I just like of all three of them. Her mom just send her off so she won't see her die. Yeah. Plus the stuff with, uh... Shit, what's his name? Simon. Plus the stuff with just how awful her dad is and her ex-boyfriend is. She's got a lot of reasons to be defensive. Ooh, woo, 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 hi. Yeah. Simon blows. He's my least favorite. Okay. Wait, Simon, Simon? Like, even when he's in control? Simon cry. 3.2 miles? You're right there with me. Her dad is cool, but he needed good picks. No, sorry, I mean Ice King. Okay, yeah. Ice King sucks. Simon's great. I like Gunter, Simon was great. Was there any character that I really liked in Adventure Time? I'm trying to think if there's any one recurring character that I'm like, this person I really liked. I don't think there was. Oh, I stopped. It's school week, so not as long as normal. Okay. Talk about woman obsessed. Bimo was my boy. Bimo is a cutie. Bimo is great. Um. Uh. I can't think of any character in Adventure Time that I'm like, this was the coolest character. Now... There were some later episodes that I didn't see. I haven't, like, completely seen Adventure Time. I got to the stuff with Flame Princess. And I stopped watching, and I've only seen, like, episodes here and there after that. Um. Uh. <laughs> there's, there's one character from, like, a single episode that I quoted for years. Um, and my dad actually thinks I'm just this fucking character. It's the Chimera who has approximate knowledge of everything. And so he's fighting Finn, he's kicking Finn's ass, Finn doesn't know how to beat him and he's hiding. And the guy's like, I know where you are. You're hiding here! Oh, you weren't. But you're probably close. You're probably right over here! And then he finds Finn. And Finn's like, how are you reading my moves? And the guy's like, I have approximate knowledge of many things. And so, because I'm so terminally online, I have approximate knowledge of many things. And, like, I quoted this a lot back in the day where somebody's like, did you know about this? I was like, yeah, I knew about it. There was a moment where my dad, he's like, Yulin, you gotta check this out. And he's showing me the Home and Garden channel. And they're going to a store to, like, buy nails and 2 by 4s or something. And the guy, he finds a ghillie suit. Hi, media. He finds a ghillie suit, puts it on, and he's like, Honey, check this out. Check this cool thing out. And I'm like, oh, ghillie suit. My dad goes, you know what that is? And I was like, yeah, it's a ghillie suit for camouflage. Snipers use it. How the fuck do you know that, Yulin? And I would go, I have approximate knowledge of many things. And so it became like a challenge for my dad to find things that he didn't know about. And he'd be like, Ewan, did you know about this? Of course I did, Dad. I have approximate knowledge of many things. <laughs> and so my dad thought I was like turbo smart for a while and just knew about everything. Can't wait for Fiona and Cake Season 2. Lady Rainicorn is one of my favorites. That is a great name, Rainicorn. Before there was something, there was nothing. Before there was nothing, there was monster. But also, Ice King is pretty crazy. Why is Freya judging us with that stare? That's just her face. What do you mean? She's not judging you, she's just lovingly looking at you. You have a nice face. Simon Yi, that's so cute. Couldn't remember his name. 
He's looking at the cuties. Exactly. Ray's got the free run stare. Ara, ara. Oh my goodness. Yo, Lumpy Space Princess. How could I forget? I fucking hated Lumpy Space Princess, I swear. I love the, how funny that character was. But god, she was such a fucking selfish piece of shit. <laughs> BRB busting a fat cum. Proud of you, sis. Think of me. He won't. I know what Sis is into. He's into big fat tits. He's not gonna think of me. Uh, or he'll always... just think of you as you with big fat titties. Oh, yeah, he could. Ba -bonga 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 -bonga. I'm into cock too. Hello, what the frick? <laughs> Need a hand. Damn, I'm sorry, you and yo. Fine. Think of me. Uh. All right, now that Sis isn't here, we can talk about Clash of Clans. Sis used to play Clash of Clans. I don't know if he still does. Clash of Clans is in a lot of trouble right now. I'm not actually masturbating. Wait, I play cock. Wait, you still play it? Sis, everybody's mad at Clash of Clans right now. Because they're, they're like, hard copy striking every single content creator that speaks negatively about their game. You? Would you be like that? So, like literally, well, I'm not a content creator of their game. I just play it, so I don't care. If you're still having fun with it, hell yeah. Talk and Supercell in general, whack. Supercell, they, so any content creator, even if it's somebody who's like made hundreds of videos and guides for their game and like literally grown their brand, if they're like, yeah, this latest patch came out and it's pretty pay to win. If you're not buying this, you're gonna you're gonna fucking struggle. They're like they're going through their entire channel and copy striking every video with Clash of Clans. So they're sending like 28 copy strikes. And it's like Whoa, that's overkill. Oh, um, not only that, they're going through their Discord. And reporting them to Discord for like the minor, most minor infractions where it's like, oh, this person made a race joke. Report them to Discord. They're going nuclear on these channels. And they haven't done it to just one. They've done it to like five or six channels. One guy started it. People stuck up for them and were like, hey, Supercell went after this person, that's shit. So they went after that person. Hey, Supercell went after these two people. I'm not going to support a company that does that. They go after this person. They're being like... Turbo shitty to their content creators right now. <laughs> ah, I need a drink. We're at four miles. Holy cow. We got talking about those cartoons and I went off. Uh, hi, Ploopsly. Good morning, chat, Ewan. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Here's something really funny. So in England, for a long time, they had a queen. Well, she died a couple years ago, right? Was it two years ago? One year ago? I don't remember. Queen Elizabeth is dead. She's been seceded by her son, um, who is a king. Well, when people are singing, like, the anthem of England at, like, sports games, they are supposed to say, um, like, God save the king or God help the king or something. But they've been so used to saying, God save the queen, that they don't know what to say. Whether they're supposed to say queen because that's the song, or king because that's what they currently have. So, <laughs> if you go to an event where British people are singing this anthem, 
what it sounds like is God save the Qing. <laughs> so like literally the Qing dynasty <laughs> with a Q. And it's like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> because half of them are saying king and half of them are saying queen. That shit is so funny. You'd think they'd be like, hey, just so everybody knows, we have a king now. Don't say queen. Before every anthem for like a month. Until, until people fucking learned. We're saying king. <laughs> but they're just middling it. Shit is so funny. This was this was news from like two days ago. Boeing will pay 243 million in a plea deal for a crash that killed 346 people in 2018. Um, a little bit before all the uh, the Boeing stuff happened, but it affected the trial because the trial was ongoing till now. There was a crash over Ethiopia, where a Boeing plane crashed and. All 346 people on the flight died. Well, they've been in a lawsuit over this. And now that Boeing is like, stuff keeps coming out with how shitty they are and how much they cut corners. It kind of doomed their lawsuit. They have agreed to pay, in a plea deal, $243 million. More crash again? No, this is one of their first crashes. This is in 2018. Um... It just wasn't that televised, because it was just one crash. Um, they're gonna pay $243 million. A lot of people are kind of upset about this. They're like, oh, so the value of a life is just that much? Okay, this is bullshit. They killed all those people. But, like... How do I word this without being fucking awful? <laughs> um... If you, if you compare country rates, that's probably a lot of money for people in Ethiopia. Not saying they're worth less. I'm just saying, like, they have less currency over there. So the amount of money they're getting is probably more than people are thinking. No, I don't like it. I don't like just paying a fine. I'll agree with people there that, like, there should be jail time. Somebody should be going to jail over this. It should not just be... Oops, teehee, business expense. Somebody should be behind bars. That's a lot of dead people. But, they're just gonna pay the fine. 243 million. And that's that. CEO go jail? I would say CEO, but... I would also say, like, whatever plant factory manager... But behind bars or lose everything or both? I want at least behind bars. Lose everything? I feel like once you're in that position, it's hard to lose everything. Because you've got connections, you can come back. Um, if, if somebody like Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk was to give away all of their billions, they would still have the connections to, like, come back and still be a billionaire it might take them some time but i want jail time i want jail time for those type of people um <laughs> here's something funny andrew tate the resident fucking loser of the internet that thinks uh, it's gay to wash dishes and stupid shit like that He's beefing with Elmo. Our boy, Andrew Tits. <laughs> Andrew Tate has decided he needs to pick his battles better. He can't go after people that will actually, like, clap back and insult him and put him in his place. He needs to go after people that he think won't fight back. So he's beefing with Elmo. Like Sesame Street Elmo. Like the little red furry puppet Elmo. Andrew Tate thinks that's that's an that's a fight he can take. <laughs> yes. And so <laughs> Elmo Elmo tweeted out 
Happy Women's Day. That's it. That's all Elmo said. Happy Women's Day. A puppet that likes to be tickled? Yes. You can have a beef with a sock puppet? Hi, Logitech. All... <laughs> All Elmo said was Happy Women's Day. And Andrew Tate was like, You have poisoned the minds of m young men in this country. You've raised them to be pussies. You are a plague upon the earth. Uh, you should be eradicated. <laughs> and I was like, What is bro talking about? Elmo ain't gonna take that shit? Yeah, he will. Elmo, to, to this, Elmo's nothing. He'll take that shit because it's nothing to him. He's not going to, like, lose his cool over this. He's like, okay. What the fuck is going on in this universe, Elmo Tough? Elmo going to find him BTS. Isn't Andrew Tate the human trafficker? Yes. Uh-huh. You can have beef with a sock puppet. What happened in Andrew's life to make him this way? Sensationalism. He got a little bit of popularity from his charisma, having crazy takes. He was able to make a career out of it. He has been topping himself over and over and over. And now he's fucking insane. And he's gotten nothing but positive feedback for his, uh, his stupid and crazy takes. Um. And, uh, it, it, it got out of his control. And he lost touch with reality, with what is uh, real and what is acceptable. Dracula flow Elmo. You means nothing to me, man. I bet he puts his beef in a sock. Good lord. <laughs> Elmo. Happy Women's Day. That's it. That was all it took for Andrew Tate to lose his cool. You have poisoned the minds of young, Amer of young men across the world. Bro, what? Can we throw him in jail as an official act? Meeting time? But goes fast, Pixel. I thought Andrew Tate was still in jail for the human trafficking stuff. It kind of seems like he's going in and out. Good luck, Pixel. We're all counting on you. Because as we all know, Andrew Tate, the alpha male, hates women. Imagine calling yourself alpha and lose brain cell over Elmo. Dude. Guys that are like, I'm alpha. I gotta be the alpha. I are usually like the least alpha people possible. An alpha guy? Somebody that like really has that dominant personality. They don't have shit to prove. They're just like that. If you're not like that, stop trying to be like that. Because you you should try to be something else. Guys, girls will like uh, things other than alphas. There are people that are just fucking... They got that air. They got that aura. I have a good example. Uh, Glenn. You dead prey. That dude's alpha as fuck. I have never heard him be like, I'm the alpha. He has never needed to fucking state it. If you need to tell people, be like me, be an alpha, ugh, you're not that guy. You're not that guy. If you have to label yourself an alpha male, you're not an alpha male, show don't tell. You claim to be alpha, I'm skeptical you ever dealt with a situation of any kind in your life. You and dad is alpha or even sigma? Hmm... I wouldn't say my dad's, like, alpha energy. Maybe Sigma. He's pretty grind set, productivity, always be moving forward. Always, he, he cannot sit still. He, like, God. He retired. That lasted, like, two months, and he was immediately doing consulting work for ten hours a week. Like, my dad cannot. He does not understand... What it means to be retired, huh? Just like my dad. There's more than Alpha, Beta, Sigma. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
I'm a Bravo Squad attack helicopter. You should be like me. I don't know what all the different labels are. I think I understand what Sigma is. I know what Alpha and Beta are. In fact, a lot of the connotations of being Beta are kind of blown out of proportion. Mm, I'm a Whiskey Delta. I don't know. I don't know if there's a, a Greek term that fits what I am. I try to be fun and a good person to people. I try to do right by everybody. Um, I try to be fun and entertaining. And I try to, like, be very empathetic and understanding of everybody's side, right? I think you guys have learned that about me, that, like, I can see the best and the fucking worst of people. You and the Femboy Greeks call them Femboy. Femboy is not a fucking personality type. As much as some content creators try to make it be. Sorry, Greeks call them princesses. Um, I don't know. I just try to have fun with people, and I really don't care about a lot of what other people don't care about. I don't care about it like career, progression, relationship. I like want happiness. And I never look at it as like one thing as the only source of happiness, right? Companionship in a relationship can be a fantastic source of happiness. But not the only source. Fulfillment from a career, fulfillment from, like, accomplishing something can be a great source of happiness. But it isn't for me, I can tell you that. You are Gamma because you are corrupting everyone around you? It really is a personality type? No, it's not. Femboy is not a personality. That's just being horny. And it's not a personality type, damn it. <clears throat> Fulfillment from your friends? It's very personality? It is not! You don't want to marry Yulin? <clears throat> I'm not against marriage. I'd marry somebody. I just have some requirements. I like seeing people happy. Even outside of being horny, it's extremely clear when someone has the femboy personality. Look, femboy can fit into a personality. Femboy itself is not a personality. Psst. Hi. I'll marry. I don't know if you meet the requirements. I'm sorry. You're wonderful. That sounds so mean. A lot of my requirements for marriage are, like, financially taking care of me. <laughs> as shitty as that is. For me to marry someone would mean stepping away from living with my parents. And if they can't, like, let me have this lifestyle that I have... Taking away a lot of happiness. I don't really want that. Yulin is looking for a sugar daddy? Kind of. I don't want somebody to, like, give me a million gifts. I don't want somebody to, like, spoil me. But I want someone that, like, quite frankly, is covering most of the bills. I'm okay with, like, paying my own stuff. To the point that I'm not a burden on somebody. But, like... supports your lifestyle? Basically. I don't know. Once again, I ask for your financials. Okay. Okay, let me... Let me give an example. <clears> hmm. <throat> this is difficult. <laughs> Freya, I love you! God damn it. Even outside of being horny, marriage, erg. I'm not against marriage. I just like being gay with friends more. It's not a full personality, but it's a personality trait. True happiness comes from grabbing bros Johnson till he squeals. It really is. I already deal with a case of extreme possessiveness. Don't want a worse thing. Rick Hentai, no, you and don't bully Freya. I'm not bullying her. 
He was looking for a sugar daddy. So I just have to do better than your parents? No, not necessarily. You be like, give me money, feed me, and you can bang me for the rest of your life. Oh my god, I hate it here. It supports your lifestyle. Once again, I ask for your financial support. Bernie Sanders, 2015. Also, someone who doesn't have kids. Bernie, 2016. 2020, my beloved. I just want hugs. If somebody was like, I work, I have an apartment, or a house, and I want you to move in, I want you to be here, and literally, like, keep the house clean and maybe take care of food, although with me taking care of food, that's a fucking big ask. I don't know if people want me cooking for them. That's, like, the ideal setup. Now, aside from that, you know, there's other things, right? We have to get along. <laughs> I don't want somebody who's, like, they think women are shit, they want to play FIFA all day, go out to bars, hang with the bros, but they're cool with me living with them and being a, an own a hole and they want to marry me. That's, like, you know... You might solve all my problems there, but I'm not going to be happy with you. You only want the mini moan? Power for stream, food, beans, and burrito, and the rest? You know who, who else said that was their ideal setup? Are you going to say your ex-wife? <laughs> my mom? Okay. Stay at home the dream? Yeah. It's somebody that, like... But yes, that too. It's somebody that, like, I need to get along with, right? They need to be okay with me not wanting to leave the house. They want to... They need to be okay with me not working while they work. I'll do all the fucking errands, right? I'll clean the house. I'll do the cooking. I'll do the yard work. You know, if somebody... If I was with somebody and they worked 40 hours a week and they come home, they're fucking off. They're, they're off the clock. They're not working anymore. I see it as my obligation and responsibility to take care of everything else. Not gonna lie, you sound like a dream husband to me. I don't want to go out. I want a best friend that, like, even if we don't necessarily do everything together, we spend a lot of time together and exist together. And we have that companionship. Um... You will definitely hubby material. Oh my god. You guys are saying hubby material, and I'm sitting here thinking I'm like a fucking boy failure. Um. I want to be a fucking, like, house husband, and I can't fucking cook. Do you guys understand that? That's a really bad boy failure thing there. Um. God, where did she go? <sighs> Sounds comfy. That's what I want in life. Now, there are personalities that I need to get along with, right? And almost all of you, I get along with. I don't know if I could be married on a personality level to, like, Global. <laughs> global is very antagonistic, and that would drive me nuts. I don't think Global is a bad person at all. But my god, is he antagonistic and a tease. And I don't know if I can handle living with that nothing you can't teach you it's not a matter of teaching me it's that my sense of taste is busted how do i cook good food when i don't know what good food is it's like it's what you're saying is you need to cook but you can't taste test anything that sounds difficult that sounds really fucking rough hi nick we use measurement. Just follow the recipe, dum-dum. Following the recipe will get you very far. That does not sound... That does not fix everything. You need to be taste testing. Even now, I only do basic stuff. You're bad even at failing. I think it would be doable. I think there would be a lot of like, Hey, I made you this meal. Jesus Christ, you and that's awful. It's way too salty. Okay, I'll use less salt next time. Don't need you to cook if I just love to cook myself. True. Um. There's also things that like. 
There's also things that make me like... How do I say this? What the fuck? I didn't cut it. God damn it. I need to re-upload it a second time. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I'll give you an example. Khalid and Kor. Both of those two. Those two work. And I'm I'm like, great. Both of those have a personality that I fucking love. And I'm attracted to. Both of them like spending money. <laughs> Both of them enjoy spending money on stuff. And it's like, I cannot, I, I don't know if I could be with that. In my eyes, somebody who spends money. <laughs> Wait, who? You, Ellie. I am literally talking about you and Core. I look at money as like a necessary evil. Hi, Rath. I look at money as like. You get a certain amount, you can retire, and you don't have to, like, waste your life away at a job anymore. That's how I look at money. Not everybody does. For a lot of people, money is just a trade. You do this task, you get money, you can spend money on the stuff you want. Hi, Nyashu. The and Core like this. They want nice things, they spend money on nice things. Nice things make them happier. So, like, they, it seems like they spend money on the most frivolous and impulsive stupid shit possible. But that's not how it is. That's just how it looks to me. For them, it's like, buying this keyboard will make me happy. Done. My Steam Deck arrived. For them, it's just, you know, they like spending money. That's their hobby. They like having nice shit. They got nice shit. They work for nice shit. It's literally like they have earned that right, and judging them for it is shitty of me. With that being said, I don't know if I could be married to someone like that. Because I've just I have such an opposite opinion of money that I'm like, ah, oh you bought a what? I didn't even know you liked those things. What are you Okay? Core more like core. I need an adventure companion for real. Yeah, that's another thing with both Ellie and Kor. Both of them like to go out. I don't think either of them could stay cooped up in their house. 24-7. Stop moaning. No. I look at money as means to get the things that make me happy. Mm hmm. I want to be rich to give to people. I don't like money. If I need money to help my mom and people around me. Mm hmm. Hi, Mania. Thank you. I had that issue in my marriage? Mm hmm. I'm a couch potato, but I'd love to be taken out for drinks or whatever from time to time. That's why we're here. I, I literally don't want to go out. If somebody was like... I'll marry you. You don't have to work. I'll work. You do the house chores and errands, but we have to go to a restaurant once a week. That's almost a deal breaker. That's like... Oh... I gotta think on this one. Once a week is a lot to me. Basement troll? I'll be in Germany next month. God. I once again ask for your financial support. God damn it. What were you playing, Mania? Ah, we're at 5.1 miles. God, I'm so mad I have to re-upload this again. Can I ask for weekly cuddles, though? Oh, you get those daily. That's, like, not a thing you ask for. You just get those. What's wrong, honey? You want to eat out and not eat your bean burrito? Hi, Star. Thank you. Only weekly? Easy, I will go find, go out with Yulin. 
but I will rent the place for our own. That's even worse. Just get delivery. That's cheaper. That's spending too much money on a frivolous thing. It's a trade, a deal, not an emotional connection. I like how you explain that, Yulin. Mm -hmm. One hour of weekly grass touching being a deal breaker is such a Yulin thing to say. It's not a deal breaker. I would just have to think about it. I'd have to date that person a while and like test run this lifestyle. Am I actually okay with going out to a restaurant once a week as a requirement for dating? It's a deal cracker. It's a it's a yellow flag for sure. It's like, oh jeez. Because on one hand, I don't like going out. On two, that means they like going out. And they want to go out more. And they that might be an issue down the line where it's like, hey, I want us to go on vacation once a year. Fuck me, I don't hate vacations. If you love me, you can bear the grass. You be like, give me money and I'll let you use me? Respectable. No, okay, so here's my stance with cuddles. I'm not going to initiate, but if I was married to somebody, you want them, you get them. You initiate, you take it when you want, you will always get it. That might also apply to sex. A good toy doesn't ask to be played with. Come on, Yulin, we can hide behind the dumpster and eat fancy food. You need it anyways, hello? Oh, whoa? <laughs> Good lord, LOL. <laughs> oh my god, you would not be my toy. I heard some bottom noises just now. Uh. I saw a trailer for a video game. And it made me think of Ellie. It's a horror video game. But there's not actually like any horror elements in it. There's no ghosts. There's no axe murder. It's called Saboris. And basically, you're a chicken trying to escape a meat factory, like a butcher plant. And so, like, you're trying to escape these workers chasing you with butcher cleavers. There's, like, diseased pigs that are trying to eat you. There's all the, like, machinery that can just fucking kill you just by, like, moving gears. Why does that make you think of Ellie? <laughs> Trauma generator. Because Ellie is, like, turbo vegan. And, like... <laughs> I think Ellie would cry playing this game. <clears throat> For once, you're based. Is it wrong, AO? <laughs> Bruh, trauma generator. Oh. Uh, absolutely. Ellie can't run away from me. Uh, actually, Ellie could run away from you. Ellie is fucking fit as shit and like just climbed a mountain and ran like a 30 mile marathon. What was it like ruck packing or something? I'm crying just thinking about this evil Yuli. Ellie might be able to outrun me. Ellie's fucking tough as shit, guys. <laughs> Do you guys remember the Patriot Front? That super, like, crazy, unhinged group that was, like, going to pride parades and, like, protesting with a bunch of guns and intimidating them? I can absolutely outrun you with respect. Um, can't anyone outrun you, Yulin? No. Without respect? No! I can outrun a lot of people. Um. So a couple years ago, uh, about evil where is Frey, I told her I wouldn't marry her and she ran off love to see that um patriot front a couple years ago they went to a pride parade in washington and like based on some of the text logs it looks like they were planning to shoot up the pride parade it looked like they were looking to cause trouble and like do stuff they showed up in a van they showed up in like three or four vans all with ak-47s and like the fbi knew about them apprehended them, arrested them on the spot. The reason they said they were going to do this was because they wanted to save the children and protect them from the abuse of gays. 
Well, guess what? One of them was found with child porn on his phone. These motherfucking hypocritical pieces of shit. Turns out, literally are the ones that are the problem. Wow. Yup. Oh, she's just down the stairs. Hmm. You can't outrun Sonic the Hedgehog? I'll make you eat those words. Love to see that. She can run but can't hide from my horny sense and bear-like body. The moment I fall, bounce. I don't think Ellie likes bears. I'm sorry. She very much is like into feminine bodies. Even if you'd catch her, she would snap you like a fucking Slim Jim. Everyone in chat can outrun me. Did went on a Depresso adventure? Pisu, would you even get up? Wow. Damn, it always goes like that. Projection incarnate. Oh no, who would have seen that coming? If I fell, I wouldn't get back up, no. Would need help, probably, well. Oh fair, I'll help you get up, Kitsu. Uh. Uh, what else is there? People are mad at Marjorie Taylor Greene. She, uh... I fucking hate this lady. I don't know how she made it to be a senator. She's literally a crazy conspiracy theorist, like, nut job. Harasses innocent people. She tweeted out recently. Everybody's talking about old people in politics. But they don't know that... Most of the people that signed the Declaration of Independence were less than 35. John Hancock, John Adams, George Washington, Benjamin Franklin. Like, she just started rattling out names, right? Eight of the names she rattled out did not sign the Declaration of Independence. Only two of them did. <laughs> of, like, ten names, she got two right. And everybody's just like, God, can you just fucking shut up and go away? God, you're such a piece of shit. I could outrun me, but it won't last. I have very low stamina. You know what's really funny? When it comes to running, I'm a short distance sprinter. I am not built for long distances. I am way faster short distance. Which is funny that I like have set up a stream that involves walking for two to four hours. She's a house rep? Oh, is she house rep? I thought she was senate. Okay, good. Well, eh. she still needs to go away. Why the fuck do people to fuck the children? They all scream, save the children, but kick the kids out of the house the moment they think a kid have a fruity taste. Because they're fucking losers. I might get outrun at first, but I'll last longer. Cock, Hyloja. I will still cuddle. Damn you catching me. Eventually, yeah. When I was in high school, every, every now and then, like once a week, we would run a mile. And for the longest time, I was one of the slowest kids. I would like jog and just jogging I would tire myself out and we'd get to like the final lap of five and I'd be like ah, 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 like limping barely being able to jog I was a mess I'd have like 10 to 11 minute miles but the teacher was like hey good job good hustle everybody halfway through my freshman year of high school I was like man I'm just gonna sprint I can sprint hard, and I'm keeping up like, I'm not like dying on the track. I'll just sprint, and when I run out of energy, then I'll just coast the rest of it. So I would sprint two laps, get way fucking ahead of everybody, and then I'd run out of energy, and I'd be doing three laps of that like, huh, ah, uh, oh god, ah. Uh. But my times went from like 11 minutes to six minutes. Six, like, 6.30. I, like, literally doubled my time and did way fucking better. And the coach was like, you win, you can't do it like that. You need to jog and save your energy and then sprint at the end. And I was like, hey, what was my time when I did that a week ago? What was my time last week? And he has his clipboard. Uh, you, you did 11 minutes. What did I get this week? You did seven minutes. And I think I just walked away from him. <laughs> I was like, that was the only time I was super rude to this guy. I had his back all other times. But like, when he said that to me, I was like, what did I get last week? What did I get this week? Yeah, we're done here. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I can run for like three to five miles, no sweat. Walking three to five miles is worse. Is that three to five more? I don't run, but can any more of a ambush, ambush guy? Same, I was one of the fastest. But only the smart ones would go after me and tagging or to tire me out. And then everyone clapped. They did not clap. No, that was a, that was a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him and me. Um. And then I think he said it like one or two more times, like you really should be doing it this way. And I was just like, look, I do better when I don't do it that way. So no. Of course, me has a stagger. Wouldn't last long though. Puts finger on teacher's lips. <laughs> Unless I was destroyed. Now I just rather only work out hard for 30 minutes versus work out moderately for three hours, Eland, I feel ya. Huh. Of course, me as a tagger win less. Okay, okay. Um. I. I would rather not work out at all. I don't like working out. However, I've done everything I can to make working out fun and enjoyable. By streaming it. Made it inside monetized it surrounded myself with cool people that i like talking to i look forward to working out now but the actual working out part i don't enjoy it's just all of you that make me cutely piss myself what the fuck what is wrong with you I, uh, this banner shows up for 15 seconds i was like where is it where is it? Why isn't it there? Uh, 5.7 again. Why didn't it go into the next video? Whatever. It doesn't need to. We're at 5.7. Uh, uh. Let's update the title. 5.7 miles. And now we rest. I missed the T. Uh. Done. And then I close this. Slap again. Damn, Jan. So needy. Just do it? I was expecting an animation to go off. Ah. Oh, it didn't work? Tragic. You talk, you come. Ah. I get it, you guys are the runner of the group. More of a pack mule guy. Tell me to move a mountain of pallets, I will do that. Yeah, you're a long distance runner. You'll do fine over long distances, but sprinting, not so much. You and I'm a couch potato, never do any workout myself. That is not true, Media. I have literally seen your workouts. I need a reason, excuse to work out. Dancing was my reason, and doing walkies with you is also my reason. Mm hmm. Incredible. Oh snap! Quick one today. Is it quick? It was still 5.7 miles. Based. You even got me motivated to play just dance for a few hours every day in VR chat. Hell yeah. Same. I don't want to work out, but that last Sunday I nearly got heat stroke when I saw some nice femboy pick. Okay. The reason is making sure you can live long enough so we can meet. Was it on purpose? I was trying to trigger the slapping. Ah. I need to update. Update? I need to fix my trackers. Everybody look away. I'm turning my legs around. Yeah. 
Calibrate. Oh, I was wobbly. Hmm. Will I even meet you and you in love? I don't know. Probably not. I don't like leaving the house. If I became super rich, if I became like, you know, multi-millions, and it was like, okay, we're going to start doing stuff like going to Twitch cons, maybe. I don't like leaving the house, guys. It's scary outside. Damn it, Yeland. Ah, okay. Updated trackers. Um. Updated title. Oh, where's Freya? Jan said she was just down the stairs. Oh, there she is. We're moving. We're moving. Squish, 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 squish. Ah. Hi, Rhythmic Steward. Thank you for the follow. Ah. Where are we going? We did soft... Well, let's go to the cabin. We're getting so close to a thousand. Portal! Excuse me. I wasn't even close to meeting that. Cairo Doko? It's Tuesday Global. Uh, we'll look for a place you think feels like home. Don't worry, Eland. Outside isn't scary. Outside is horrifying. What are you talking about? Uh, outside is the worst. I really want to meet them IRL. Bless you, bless you. Then come. He's trying to censor me. I wish I had the money. Bless you again. Paying an extra 15% to never look at a person. The music starting? Video error. Retrying. Video error. Retrying. Don't do this to me. Video error retrying. Okay. Okay. I believe this shit. That time I learned to do this anyway. Uh, where's my mouse? Here. I click this. Uh. Oh, God. I'm on the wrong channel. Which account? This one. Uh, subscriptions. Ah. Uh. Copy link address. Okay. Can I just... Control V? Does that work? There's a copy button, right? This? Yeah. Rate limited retrying. Video error retrying. Oh, maybe it's not the video. Maybe it's the fucking player. Ah. Ah, I wish I had the money. Bless you again. What if you go outside and we defend you like a beehive? No. Doesn't matter what day it is. He is always in my heart. The TwitchCon Yulin meetup will be epic. Hello, Global. Are we just cuddling and missing the event? I mean, honestly, if I were to go to TwitchCon... Unless I'm, like, buku bucks, like, super rich. I don't want to go to TwitchCon. I would just want to, like, go to the Airbnb and hang out with people there. Okay. Um. God damn it. Uh. 
Uh, can I just click this? What does that look like? It seems a little loud. What is she even studying for? Okay. Hi. <sighs> I am way under the fucking cushions. Ah. Stop here for a bit? Hell yeah. Okay. Ah. Ah. Oh, I'm tired. Ah. Wait, you aren't rich? Rich just win the lottery? SMH my head? God, these two. What? I didn't do anything. She did it first. <laughs> Rhea started it. It's not my fault. She started it. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Ah. I want, if I win the lottery, I'd buy a big house, get a maid, and give some donuts to my dear friends. How are the walkies? We did 5.7 miles. We did Taurus from Star we Wars again because I had to re-upload it Let's and I go. fucked up the re-upload. I will literally need to re-upload it a th second time. Wait. Same I would go, but I'm not stepping foot in the convention. Wait, can I be your maid, please? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. A likely story coming from Sis. It's not my fault that you are kissable. What did I do? You were like, it's not my fault. She kissed first. Um, it's not my fault. If I win the lottery, right, defend me. if I have like multi millions, Please. the first thing I'm doing is buying a tier three sub to like every friend of mine that streams. The second thing I'm doing is buying a big ass house. Uh, I don't know, somewhere. It's somewhere close to a city, but with a climate I like, it's probably going to be Washington. It's probably going to be near Seattle. Um, oh, God. Somebody tell me if this is loud, by the way, because it feels fucking loud to me. Um, you and you're fucking loud. What, what the fuck? Not me, the music. Not me, the music. Oh, oh, uh. I, Jesus. I mean, you sound I can't beautiful. I the honey. music, so. Lower it a bit. I turned the music off. You know what's crazy? It's at like. Five fucking percent. Wait, the music was working for you Turn in this world? The... Yeah. It wasn't working for me at all. Well. Can you imagine? Oh, I hate trying to do this in VR. Doing what? Messing with a YouTube volume slider. Um. Uh... I don't think I changed it at all. I will lower you if yeah, you want. Yeah, you want to like turn it down too much? Then I try turning it back up to what I like, like a reasonable level, and it, then it's just back to where it was before. It feels <laughs> like I can't get between zero and ten. It feels like, hey, I want yeah. five, and it's like, hey, one or those two, and I'm yeah. like, fuck, man, shit. Oh. Um, True. No, it's uh. Yeah, the video the video player wasn't loading for me. The music was like looping on an air. It's good now? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. if I win the lottery, tier three subbing to a lot of people. Um buying buying I don't know if I'd buy a house. See what I would have thought I did was like I'd buy a house and then I'd get a lot of like small houses around it. So like I'd get a big area of land. Not like a big one, but one that could have like 
you know, a bunch of small guest houses on it. And I'd have my house, and then I'd have a bunch of guest houses. And I'd, like, run the fucking streamer compound for friends. But, like... The more I think about it... I don't want to take care of a house. As much as I hate... The idea of, like, people not being able to get houses, and, like, everybody living in... Uh, a society where they rent... Ban his ass. Um... Got him down! I'm trying, but I usually make Lost One do this. Got oh him. Oh my god, Lost One, what the fuck? Well, Lost One's working. Well, yeah, he should be working chat. <laughs> oh my no, he's he pew, should pew, be working pew. his real job. Pew, pew. Um. No, chat's more important. It is not. We are the best viewers. Mwahaha. Mm. Um. My chat experience. The more I think about it, I don't want to have a house. I don't want to fucking maintain it. Renting a high-rise apartment sounds way fucking nicer. Renting, renting like, a good apartment that's, like, the space I need and gets deliveries just sounds way fucking better. You want just, the just get hobbit public? housing. I don't like it. Just, uh, if you win the lottery, just buy as much milk as, as exists. Buy all of the milk. I win the lottery. Buy a and I, cow. Okay, That's if I have like, buy a cow. If I have so much money that I can fund research, I'm looking into like low calorie milk. Really, not like human made milk. No. Oh. New pronouns. This Men. See. Doesn't have to be in that made. order. Okay, Feet Chan. I hope my slapping I wasn't too loud. I didn't hear it at all, Jim. Don't know what that means. The new pronouns? Yeah, men see. Same in the other order. See men. There you go. Oh. Uh, your pronouns are semen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I love semen. Yeah, I know. Please come in my mouth. <laughs> okay. I had a fence knocked over two nights ago, and now I got to deal with that crap. They say that when I'm right in front of their face. This is. This is. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. Okay, don't come in my mouth. Wait, hold on. Freya. Uh, you don't want to come swap with what? sis? <laughs> you don't want to... I'm sorry, what? Are... You don't want to snowball? Oh my you goodness. You two have been getting me. along so much lately. I thought you were like... I thought you were my okay mommy. with me. That's why. Yeah. Are you saying mommies can't come swap? Oh, they can. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like the I like the idea of sis doing like, oh they can and Freya can just like what? <laughs> just like the panic setting in, just like what? <laughs> Am I in danger? I'm sorry, Freya. Freya, I'm sorry. I'm a good boy, I promise. I'm wholesome, I don't do that. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I don't Nobody comes in my mouth, don't worry. I had a fence knocked over two nights ago, and now I gotta deal with that crap. Yeah, and if you're renting, it's like, oh, my toilet's making a weird so sound now. Maintenance? Do something! Like, you just fucking Bob do something then when they take care of it. And, like, not having to, like, take care of the shit of your place sounds really fucking nice for renting. I don't like transitioning to a, a phase where everybody has to rent, right? Where, like, houses are not available anymore and everybody has to rent but if i had like fuck you money and it's like i could just spend you know an amount of money on rent that is never significant to me and i never have to worry about it renting sounds real fucking nice friends is more important than job if you don't do job you don't make money and you can't stay alive to stay with friends lost one lost one is doing their job and I wouldn't have them do anything else. But Euland, if you have human milk, there will never be milk shortage for kids. What? I'm sorry, what did I hear? Okay, sis, Frey the village mother, hi hunt. Win one will lose behave because government 500k use 100k to buy Euland all the maid dresses and bunny suits. Then the rest to buy a huge house all friends and me can stay in. If, if one of you is like, 
I won the million dollar jackpot and I'm buying the streamer house that like 10 people can live in, I would not be against living in it. I'd fucking go to the streamer mansion. That doesn't sound bad. I don't believe it. Pray the village mommy loses half. When I was younger, it was really nice. But now that I'm older, you just kind of accumulate tools and knowledge on how to fix shit. Yeah, and like, same. I've, I've been learning how to fix shit. I still don't want to do it. I don't want to mow the lawn. Mowing the lawn- I have allergies and shit. Mowing the lawn means the next two days, I'm fucking sniffling and snots drooling out my nose. That shit sucks. I hate mowing the lawn. Uh, Euland is so supportive. Um... Going to fucking Home Depot or Lowe's because it's like, oh, I need to get this tool to fix this. Ah, Just don't buy a bunch of property, lol. Even if you have a small property. Even if you have, like, almost no yard, you still got yard. Lol, I re-threaded a door. Why do you need yard if you don't go outside? Because houses come with yard. Unless you're in well, fucking just put Arizona. More on yard. Unless you're in Air most people most places won't allow that. Unless you're in Arizona, you've got lawn. And that shit sucks. Even in Arizona, they still have lawn. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, a lot of places, yeah. <laughs> My grandparents live in Arizona, mm -hmm. and there's some houses that get their, their lawn spray painted green. Uh-huh. To make it look like the grass isn't just fucking dead. Yep. Yeah. No, there's it's fucking like it's the only place in the U.S. where it's, like, acceptable to just have a dirt yard because it's such a problem there. But they all still want lawn. They yeah. all still want green grass. It's like, bro, this is not what you get here. Yeah. Yes, Handyman Rise Up. LRE Thread Doorknob. A small lawn takes, like, 15 to 20 minutes a month. That... You just need to work harder, you, and train your body little by little. I can plants. Do you have herbs and meds? I'm spray painting mine purple. I, okay. You could right, have a it. small house that has, you know, 15 to 20 minutes a month. Or, you could rent an apartment, not have a fucking lawnmower, not have to spend 15 to 20 a month. You just fucking, like, don't have to deal with that at all. That sounds way better. Okay. And throw money away forever? It's okay. Oh, yeah. That's why I'd only do it if I had, like, fuck you money. If I had... If I had a million dollars, like, if a million dollars just came to me, I'm probably buying a house. And, like, you know, living as cheaply as possible. If I... Um... If I got, like, 10 million, 20 million, then I'm renting. I'm spray painting mine purple, and then the homeowners association is coming after you. And if they have the power, they will find you a lot of money. I read a story recently of this woman who she put up a camera on her front door so that she could see who was at her door. And the homeowners association was like, you can't do that, no cameras. You can put cameras inside your house, but none outside. And she was like, that's stupid. I'm keeping my camera up. And after three years, they took her to court, and they're like, you owe us $78,000 for a camera on your front porch. Ugh. Why? What the hell? Why is that, like... Why is that against the rules? Because that's what the Homeowners decided Association decided was the rules. They wanted to respect everybody's privacy, so no cameras outside your houses. My Homeowners Association is stupid. I agree. You rent a house... You still have to cut grass. Apartment is nice until you hear the neighbors screaming all night. And I get noise complaints because they hear plap, plap, plap. It depends on the apartment. So, like, if you rent a house, you might have to cut the grass. You might also, you know, they also might be hiring a lawn service. And you don't have to cut it at all. If you rent an apartment, it depends on the apartment. The apartment I had for three years, I never heard my roommate, or my uh, neighbors. I didn't have roommates. I never once. Just get a trailer home. Yeah, mm -hmm. then you can live anywhere you want, like the Walmart parking lot. The problem is, <laughs> then you still have the like place around you. I... Trailer home is also small. Um, the place around you can change. Just move. I'm I'm thinking like high rise apartment. I'm thinking like what fucking soda poppin has, 
where like yeah. it's nice as shit. He doesn't have neighbors on like you know banging on his walls. They have fucking soundproofing. <laughs> um, that's what I imagine when I say "fuck you, money," and I can rent anything. Yeah, true. Or buy a condo. No, I like going out and mowing the lawn. Well, maybe I just marry Hunt and Hunt mows the lawn. I don't know. Hunt's not going to mow their purple lawn. They just said they like going out and mowing the lawn. What, you're going to spray paint your lawn and then cut it? What the fuck? Don't do yeah. that. No. Why not? Don't make it purple, then cut it. Just make it purple. No, you've got the order wrong. You cut it and then spray paint it. Just get AstroTurf. <laughs> but they yeah. like cutting like the, the lawn. birdie bunch. Just, I don't know, I don't know. just fucking ignore. I'm sure they have something in VR lawn. for that. <laughs> Fuck the lawn. Me turning my lawn into a rock garden because there's no rules against it. I mean, so if there's no rules against it, go for it. In a lot of places, there will be rules against it. Do the homeowner Why? have the key to every house? Uh, no, but they. For a lot of places to buy a house, you have to be part of the homeowners association and follow their rules. And they will literally fine you if you don't follow them. There's a lot of places where, like, you just, if you don't agree to be part of the homeowners association and follow their rules, you can't move in. And the reason this is in effect in a lot of places is because homeowners associations exist to maintain the property value of a home. So a lot of these rules exist to keep up property values so that you know you don't have one guy that doesn't cut his lawn and it looks like a trash heap uh, they have rules that will find that guy because having that guy next to you would lower your property value however homeowners association often ends up being run by dickheads that uh had yeah. shit jobs and like take it out as you know in the homeowners association where that's the only place they have any modicum of power and sense of authority and they go turbo crazy with it and they start adding stupid rules and finding people and it becomes their personality and they're just shit. Oh, you didn't take your trash cans in by 5 p.m. on Friday. Well, we're going to find you. We're going to write you up for that. And it's like, bro, get the fuck out of Oh, my God. Ugh. Homeowners Association suck. I understand why they exist. I understand why people sign up for them. They fucking suck. I got a house with no homeowners association. That's what I would do. Don't buy a condo with a shit hoa or get one without. I dead ass rented a sound level meter when I walked apartments. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Hoas are on the same level as landlords in my opinion. I would say landlords are worse, but hoas are like right up there. Around here, the renter gotta cut it. No, cut it, then make it purple. Exactly. Um. Most places here in the U.S., you would have to, if you rent, you cut it. But I have, I have seen a house that's like, they get a lawn service that is paid for by the landlord. That was just one of the things the landlord did to, um, to have renters come to his places. It was like, you don't have to cut. He had like 19 houses in a neighborhood and he, he just, you know, cut a deal with some, uh, lawn care service he's like hey i need 19 or 20 houses serviced every week and so you know that'll be part of you know i charge them a little bit extra they get the lawn care service you get a guaranteed 20 houses per week um you know it's at a better deal so you're not making as much money as you would like but you have that consistent deal um that was just part of you know this dude's deal with these houses he owned Master turf is hell expensive. Hunt is a real G. You know, you could just be like people out in the desert of California where most of them have like huge rock gardens as mm -hmm. their front and backyard and sand. So you don't have to deal with all of that. Yeah, but that would mean living in California where it's hot as balls. You don't have to live in California to do it though. Yeah, but it's, it's more acceptable in places like California where it's more difficult to grow along. Can you imagine living in California? Yes, that I would did suck. it for I, 15 no. years. It's way expensive. Fuck that. I hated living in California. This conversation Apparently is convincing me is also really that most people here don't fall under, don't want to be a homeowner. That's why we moved out. 
See, we will never be responsible enough to be a homeowner. Oh, no. Imaginary volley? Vault? I don't know what that is. I'm responsible, I just want purple grass. Probably need to check what the city allows for. When I lived on a boathouse... Why do you want purple grass so bad? <laughs> what the fuck? When I lived on a boathouse, we sorted trash. But when I moved out, the apartment I lived in didn't do that. I had to find a place that accepts sorted trash nearby. Cairo true. Why be a homeowner if you will never be able to afford that? Oh, you lived in California. That's why she said her roommate never cut grass someone did for them. Hang on, hang on. I've never had roommates. In college, I had a roommate. Um, in California, I lived there from the age of one to six. Then I lived in Colorado for two years. Then we went back to California where I was eight to 18. I was never like an adult in California. I always lived there under my parents. You know, like I do now, haha. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I, I did know a lot of shit about fucking responsibilities and money when I lived in California. I remember a gallon of milk was like 350 in California. And then I moved to Missouri and a gallon of milk was $1. And I was like, what the fuck? That's cheap as shit Value. here. Yeah. Lived in Missouri for six years. Lived in uh, Texas for seven or eight. I've now been in Missouri again for two years. I mean, you can live in Cali just fine as long as you don't live in a big ass city. Living in yeah, any no, big city is expensive. Living in California, expensive. like, then you have to deal with the weather. Yeah, I don't like California weather. Like, I burn in and five minutes like of sunlight. On fire. I don't want to, like, have sunburn because I went to the grocery store. It's too hot. Um, I like snow. It doesn't get snow. Um, snow is nice. Tahoe is really pretty, but it's really fucking expensive. Um, constantly has water problems. Fucking, fucking Gigabits lives in California, and his internet and power has been going out for, I swear, half the fucking year. Because that state is just on fire. Yes. You lend with tan line knotters. Uh, if it's red. <laughs> True. Yeah, from the snow being too bright. Right? Oh my like god. Sunlight. My buddy in Texas has had his power out and internet out half the year too? Jesus. 3.5, that's as much as a water bottle at the airport. Cali was nice because of weather, mostly, but the expenses were backbreaking. I hated the weather. I So I lived in Colorado yeah. for two years, right? They had sunny days, they had no humidity, they had snow days, and they had nice crunchy snow that was like not awful. It was great for like snowballs, snowmen, wasn't awful to drive in. The, nothing closed for snow. It was easy to drive in, and unless it was like three feet of snow, they'd be like, hmm, we probably don't need to close. Um, shit was awesome in Colorado. Then I go to California, no snow. 80 to 100 degrees every day of the fucking year. One rainy month of the year. I was miserable. I was literally just constantly sunburnt and... Uh, the air was so dry in Colorado, I didn't have allergies. I go to California, allergies. 12 months of the year. I literally, three months of the year in summer, starting in May. Just absolute misery. Just like, I remember, I would lay in bed. Oh, I would sleep on my right. And that would uh, drain all of my mucus to one nostril. Then I would sleep on my left. And that would like make it so that I had a brief moment of I can breathe through both nostrils before it went to the other nostril. And I would constantly just switch back and forth until I fell asleep. Fucking hated California. His internet has been out for the past four days. Probably only going to get Loja, worse. you live in Washington State? It rains enough in Washington that most people don't get allergies? That sounds fucking awesome to me. Well, I was stuck at the Colorado Greyhound yeah. Station. 
four hours because of a blizzard? Good lord. Just checked 1.7 million here without lately. power in Houston right now. In this heat? Jesus! Oh, you used to? Oh, I see, I see. I'm in Washington State. Uh, my cousin but it's been, like, just mega visited. hot here lately. It fucking sucks. Hmm. My cousin who just visited yeah, is from Washington. Sucks. He grew up there. Uh, so I've been to Washington yeah. a few times. Um, I haven't in like 15 years, but I did go there like two or three times. You want, can we move to Colorado together? Oh, if one of us like gets turbo rich, yeah. Colorado is the most expensive state to live Damn. in. Pog. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um, More than Hawaii? Yes. Here's the thing. Uh, Hawaii, if you're not a local, is very expensive. If you want, like, nice yeah. Hawaii housing, it's very expensive. If you're a local and you've been right. pissed off the coast and you live in poverty and the state is fucking you, uh, it's it's pretty cheap. It's not a good time. Fair. But it's cheap. Right. Um, yeah, let's all move to Colorado. Yeah, if... If I get turbo money, sis, uh, we'll move out there and have the streamer house and like, I don't know. Let's go. You'll be in charge of mowing the lawn. Um, okay, deal. If, I can do that. If you get, if you win the lottery uh, and make the streamer house in Colorado and you can decide what my task is, uh, I recommend- You can be in charge of the peanut butter. I don't eat peanut butter anymore. Well, you're in charge of it, so figure something out. Okay, I was gonna say I can be like the femboy maid or whatever, but are you already gonna be the femboy maid? Not if I don't have to be. I'll dress up as one, but I wasn't actually gonna clean. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't think you would. Even if even if it's my choice, you're still gonna dress up as the femboy maid, and you don't have to clean. Oh, like of, it's course, fine. of course, of course. Just get an actual maid at that point. Let's buy a streamer house. I'm okay with shared beds. Please share a bed with me. I mean. Dreamer yeah, House sounds too. really, really fun. However, yeah, I agree. I have seen every Streamer House go fucking poorly. It needs to be like a group of friends house. It needs to be like, hey, here's ten of us where everybody is cool with everybody here. Um, I have seen so many Streamer Houses like just fucking fail. <sighs> yeah, let's all move to Colorado. Yulin's out. Elons are made that doesn't clean. Okay, for you. I'll be the one that does. FK for a bit, looking out for Sun's bus. Honestly, we can do better than Colorado. We have an Aussie okay, in chat. We, we can go to Australia. Go to the fuck? It doesn't snow in Australia. Why would we go there? Why do you think it doesn't snow in Australia? It doesn't snow in Australia. I think I don't it. Know what the fuck snow is? I think it does. I think they have a cold section. Hunt, does it snow in Australia? Hunt, does it snow in Australia? They have a cold section. They have a cold section. I've heard from a lot of people that it doesn't snow in Australia. They've never seen it, snow before. It doesn't snow anywhere where people live in Australia. <laughs> okay, then why? <laughs> why? We're not going to Australia, no. Because then we can I'd go skiing for a day. No. Let's go, like, let's just go to Finland. We can go skiing all the time. And we can go see Space Fish and Kimple. Who do we know in Finland? You've already named two Space people Space Fish and joke. Kimple. Yeah, I was <laughs> gonna say, I could go on if you really want, but like, you know. Space Fish, Kimple, Air, Gale, Air. Uh, yeah, Bacon. Gale. I know, I have a bunch of other friends, like my friends Lens, Fades, Serena. Finland, Haha, ha Funny, Plus Negative we're just, Funny. Like, we're just in Europe winter. at that point. Iro, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah, same. That you just means I get to put on more blankets and snuggle up to you and more. Exactly. Deal. Negative 20 winter just means, oh, we can't go outside. Nobody wants us to go outside. We, we just have to stay inside and like, hey, we only have so many blankets. Oh, no. Oh, no. We'll have to <laughs> share. Oh, no. Going outside? We can't go outside? Tragic, man. I wanted to go outside today. Unfortunately. Yes, I can't. Guess oh, man. That's yeah. why That's why I really like shitty weather places where it snows and rains all the time. Because nobody wants to go outside. Yeah. And then nobody gets on my ass for not going outside. That shit's the best. Yeah. There you go. It's been around 25 to 45 uh, for most of the winter. 25 that's Fahrenheit fine. doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, 45. Fahrenheit. 
45. Wait, what is 20 Fahrenheit? Cryo? Oh, wait. Cryo? Cryo. <laughs> that's Cryo. got to that's gotta be Celsius. That has to it be has, Celsius. It, yeah, it gets to... Well, I mean, that's pretty fucking cold in Celsius. Like, that's really good. I know it does get that cold in Finland, but, like, that is really cold. But that's from Hunt. That should be Australia, right? Do you want some dog weather come to Florida? No, I've been to Florida. I'll pass on that one. Pokes Eulens Naval, what the heck? Cairo, I thought you, I feel like you mean it gets to negative 20 Celsius, not Fahrenheit. I've heard from a lot of Finns that it gets to negative 20 Celsius, or even negative 25. I feel like 20 F and 20 Celsius, both negatives are like, believable for Finland. Yes, and the Finns, when it gets that cold, the Finns are like, oh, I guess I'll actually put on some woolly socks. <laughs> if you don't go outside, you need to find the blandest, most nothing flavor state for the cost of living is $6 and three paper clips a month. Yeah, but see, here's the problem. I want good internet. So, like, Montana's not an option because I got dog water internet. True. It gets that cold. I, I, I agree, Cairo, and that is a thing we have looked at. Um, I have looked at houses in Montana that are like, oh, this place is 400 a month. That's doable. What does the internet for the area say? Oh, it's dog water. Neat. Ah, ah, oh, I need to click on streams. To see who's streaming? Yeah. Well, not just to see who's streaming, but to collect my channel points. Oh, fair. I know the lights were on. Oh my god. I thought you might oh, park. I, I, I am fiercely loyal to Koyo and to Proxy. I don't miss out on those channel points. Who are we raiding today, Yulin? Today, we're probably going to raid Wagyumi. Uh, we always fucking know, love Wagyumi. Delicious. Um, she Wagyumi used to be, beef. she used to be an Osu streamer. Then she was a VR chat streamer. Now she's more of a variety streamer. She's, she's going hard with Final Fantasy 14 because, um, that just came out, right? Sorry for leaving. Also need to check something. All good. Jan, you know my stance on this. You know what I say about this. You can come and go as you please. I want you to enjoy to the fullest coming in and coming out as much as you want. I want you to look at this like stream lot, and the people around here, you know, as free use. And so you don't ever need to apologize. You don't ever need to be like, I'm late. Okay, okay. I need to stop making this joke. This fucking guy. <laughs> um... You don't need to apologize, Jan. I'm just happy when you are here. Because I enjoy Jan time. Um. It gets that cold. Folks, you own Snavel. The place my aunt lives snowed. But it hasn't snowed there in years? Oh. Negative 20 Fahrenheit. That's warm in winter? Yeah. Hey, you Lynn, self-love for you? Oh, my goodness. We were eating D's nuts in your mouth. You did well in walkies. Congrats. Thank you. 14 hell yeah, yeah I just checked. Like the milk gun sis loves so much. Hmm. Um The day was a high negative fifteen Fahrenheit and a low negative twenty-seven. Was this in Finland? In like Helsinki? Um The the one that's crazy to me is the one Hunt said. That it's been twenty-five to forty-five Fahrenheit most of the winter. I'm like, hang on. Hunts in Australia, shouldn't it be hot as balls there? Yes, not Why Helsinki. Why am I the milk gun? It was, yeah. it was either Proxy or Suica that had the milk guns, all right? It wasn't me. They had they had guns attached to the, the tits on their fucking thick model, all right? I'll have you know. I okay. was just an innocent bystander. Ask Proxy about it. Proxy had the milk guns. I was just the target. Well, look at what Hunt said. They didn't say you have the milk guns. Yeah. They I know, said but he always calls milk me guns. milk guns. He's like, hey, it's milk guns. And I'm like, I'm not milk guns. I know. All I see is like the milk guns sis loves so much. Uh-huh. 
Are you saying you didn't love them? I loved the milk. The guns were okay. Okay. They were okay. kind of mid. Oh, this is comfy. Did I cover all my stories? I don't think so. I didn't. I didn't talk about Sniper Wolf. Some guy made a That's video. Some guy is Sniper Wolf here. <laughs> Shut up. Some guy made a video about Sniper Wolf. It was called, um... Uh, watching Sniper Wolf until I laugh. And he watches her videos for three hours before he laughs. And I don't even think he laughed at her. He laughed at, like, something else. And it's basically him just staring at his computer for three hours while you see her videos. Well, she's done a copy strike on him, which is the nuclear one. That's a, like, you get three of these and you're banned. They delete your channel. And it's very hypocritical, right? Because, like, Sniper Wolf is a React uh, YouTuber. That's all she fucking does is steal other people's content and react to it and go, Huh, wow, that was crazy. And so, she's trying it again. She's being a shit, and God, people want to see her just get banned. I think that's really funny, though. I watched Sniper Wolf until I laugh. Literally took three hours. Um, the last thing in my notes was uh, this guy, this fucking freak. Sealed his crawl space. Literally the crawl space under his house. Completely sealed. No bugs in it. Like absolutely pristine. And it had like lights to light it up. It had a dehumidifier. It had a sump pump. And like this, this plumber. He went down into the crawl space. And he was just like. Oh my god guys. I just need you to see this. This is art. This took a level of intelligence. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's just like, okay, dude. Literally just like a sealed crawl space. That was all my notes. There you go. It's freezing balls right now. Sniper wolf muted. Did you I even listen? Balls. Did you even listen to the story error? I'm not like probably not talking about how great Sniper Wolf is. I'm literally saying she's a dumbass bitch and gonna get in trouble. There is a bottom. I need, she wouldn't listen. I need to get rid of those that fucking muted emote. Everybody uses it wrong. <laughs> no, they're using it correctly. Not. They either are toxic with it, and it's like, hey, I'm going to talk about World of Warcraft. They're all like, I hate you talking about WoW Muted. Or I'm like, let's talk about that dumb bitch Sniper Wolf and make fun of her. And Air's like, Sniper Wolf, I hate her, Muted. And it's like, what the... Then why would you mute? I know a lot about her. I'm aware of her BS. What time is it? Oh, if you know so a lot funny. about her, then you've got a lot to contribute to the conversation. <laughs> wow Are talk? Wow, Nodders. I want to play WoW so badly, Logitech, and I just feel like I'm waiting for pre-patch. I just feel like I'm fucking sitting on my ass waiting. The only thing I have to do is I've been working on Shadowmorn on my Paladin. Because I, I never did that quest. And I, I need to absorb souls for Shadowmorn. I'm at 24 of 50 right now. And I swear to God, I fucked up last week, Logitech. I didn't have the axe equipped. I went in and killed everything with my fucking dragonflight weapon. And I was like, huh, that's weird. I started with 24 and I'm ending with 24. God damn it. Fuck me. And so I just wasted a week killing every boss and getting no souls for it. Non-Argus talk? Muted. Oh my god, wow. Muted. You guys are mean. I need a couple more boolean for the map. I don't even know what boolean is. I've heard Will mention it a bunch, and I'm just like, eh. Sure. I think Farisu has talked about it a bit, too. 
it's it's connected to season four right uh, maybe i get that sounds like my problem i had trying to get relic weapon hmm uh. No, right now I'm splitting my time between Star Wars and Final Fantasy, but I'm not really into either game. If I get on Star Wars, I'm recording. If I get on Final Fantasy, I'm pushing story to get to recording. Didn't have the fucking thing equipped, goddammit. That's tragic. Oh, you, you. That's me. You know what I do want to talk about? The rabbit and steel? I want to play more of that game. Dang. You know, not only playing. Um. Uh. Mm. Can we play after nap? After nap. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. I have Stardew today. Right. The Desert Festival and Stardew oh, yeah, so true. sick. I forgot about that. I wrote, the Desert Festival is so fucking sick. Um. When I did it solo, I wasn't making too many eggs. I was like, you know, doing some things, but with a group with some miners that could go down to like level 100, holy, we were making like massive eggs. That shit was so fun. We had, <laughs> we had Smug Little Bug and Shine who were just in the mines constantly, just tunneling down and like going crazy floors down. And then we had fucking like all of us that are like, Combat 3, just like, Ooh, oh god, the serpents are after us, Ooh, like fucking Den was dying, Spacefish was dying, me and Sappy were dying, it was such a fucking like, oh god. Yes, raid bosses, drop it, and you can buy items that scale to eye level cap. Oh. We just did it, there's also a mount from Shadowlands and weapon transmogs. Shit. I spent it all on foraging books because I'm fucking sick of chopping trees. What? Cairo, that's the best part of the game! We didn't have any hype vendors. One thing that's really cool about it, Cairo. Emily can sell prismatic shards. One thing that's really fucking cool in the Desert Festival is every person that you can romance in Stardew, they have a weapon coded into the game that's like about them. So like Haley's hairpin or something. Uh, Emily's frying pan, stuff like that. Um, Leia's whittling knife. Uh, but they never got added to the game. They were in the game files, but they never got like officially put in. But now you can see them in their shops. And so like, if Leia... Uh, you can reskin the weapons now too. Mm -hmm. If Leia is doing her shop, you can get her whittling knife as a weapon. They're not that great, but... They're in the game now, which is cool. Fucking Emily gave me shitty outfits every time. She gave me a fucking, like, green tracksuit the first two days. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? This was awful the first day. Why did you give me this two days in a row? The, the third day, she gave me a cute sailor outfit. So I was okay with that. But I'm going to transmog to the Terraria Easter egg weapon. Meow Mir? Hell yeah. I got a sick cowgirl fit from my wife. Hang on, hang on, hang on. From your wife? Did you marry Emily? Really? Ugh. Okay. Haley? Wait, how did you get a cowgirl outfit from Haley? Wait, Haley's just as bad. What the fuck? Haley's like the worst one. Oh my god, I'm learning things about Cairo. Abigail, best girl? Abigail is one of the better ones. Maru is the F tier romance option? Maru is S tier. What the fuck do you think Maru is F tier for? Huh? Haley's the one that's a fucking bitch to you. And even at like full heart, she says stuff like, You better watch yourself, mister. You're sleeping in the doghouse tonight. If you actually like that, holy. I, I think Haley is absolute worst girl. I think Haley is worst option. Best girl Freya, best boy Ewan. We're talking about the Stardew Valley romance options, you dorks.
Trans man also obsessed with Stardew and why Sesh said Mara was the worst romance too, LOL. What does that have to... Why? Why do you think Maru is awful? I don't really care that, like, the amount of people who think she's bad. I just want to know the justification. Yeah, I told you, you are in Stardew as a character. I'm all about being degraded, but that's going too far. So it makes you as a romance option? Okay. My VR is on silly mode? No! Decoding, she mean you better be a bad boy and fuck her doggy style. Aww. Haley is the worst option in my eyes. Um. Leia. Sebastian. Maru. Abigail. And. What's his name? Um. Elliot. I think those are the best ones. She's boring as hell. Her likes, love sucked. Goofy, ah, nerd, emoji girl with zero personality. Oh my god. You're toxic. There's nothing wrong with people that are boring. You know what boring means? Fucking stable. It means they're not gonna cause drama and shit in your life. Motherfucker also left out Shane. Shane is at the bottom. Look, I like Shane. But he's an absolute dick for four hearts. And then, you have to deal with his whole depression and drinking problem. And then, once you marry him, he's still drinking behind your back. His room has empty beer cans all over. <laughs> but hey, hey, he's fun, I guess. He's got blue chickens. <laughs> Motherfucker is tasting both cardboard food and cardboard people, I see. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I do like boring people. Because they're not going to fucking be crazy. They're going to be stable. They're going to be, you know, a, a normal human being that treats me well. And if that makes them boring, if that makes me boring, fucking call me boring. They're the right choice. Don't come crying to me when that bitch treats you like shit for ten, year, 10 years and then cheats on you. But hey, they're exciting. Motherfucker. Oh my god. That's some toxic ass... Ugh. I'm sure that untreated drinking problem won't cause problems in the future. Nah, uh, never. Demetrius is a cool nerd in the family. Sorry. Demetrius is cool. He has one bad moment where he's like, I love my daughter and I'll fucking stab you in the forest if you hurt her in any way. Don't get in the way of her potential. She's a smart girl. That's a fucking weird moment from him. In the forest. Him. But, like... I don't want him to stab me in my forest. Other than that, he's fine. Based? <laughs> Not based. It's overbearing. It's nap time. Get the force to stab. Okay, no, no, no. We'll we'll rate them all real quick. For the guys, this motherfucker says, "I want all the freedom in the world." Sits at home all day. Yeah, I want the freedom to do that. You can stab me with that meat knife any day in the forest. Alex. Alex is a lower mid pick. He's a dumb jock brain, and he's way egotistical and narcissistic at first. But he gets fucking humbled, and he he does some character development and growth, and he becomes okay. He's still kind of like a little full of himself, and he's still kind of dumb. Low mid tier. Elliot is top tier. Elliot is literally just nice to you. That guy is just a fucking G. Um, Sebastian... I would rate Sebastian a little under Elliot. He's, like, very off-putting to everyone at first. He's very, like, why are you talking to me? Um. Sebastian is kind of just, not rude, but, like, unapproachable at first. He warms up, and he's cool, and he treats you well later on, though. So he's he's high tier. Not perfect, but high. He doesn't like it when you have to help somebody grow and change. You heard it here first. Elliot sucks, Elf. Dylan has zero stardew taste, holy moly. It's not your responsibility to change people. 
And if somebody's a dick, they're a fucking dick. That's how it works. I'm sorry, I don't want to, like... Like, I like seeing them change and get better. That's great. But, like, I'm not rating them on how I change them. I'm rating them how they are before I fix all their problems. That's the fun of an RPG. And I'm not treat. I'm not ranking this as an RPG. I'm rating them as dateable. I'm rating them as a person. It's. I'm not treating them an RPG. I'm treating them like how. How would I interact with them if I met them IRL, and potentially dated them? And somebody that says, "Why are you talking to me? Don't you have work to do? Go away." For four fucking months to me. Get the fuck out of here, Harvey. I don't like Harvey. I think he's high tier, but I don't like Elon, him. You don't like anybody, it seems. I just said I like Elliot. Yulin just fucking hates every character. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry for Yulin. Harvey is like the soft, uwu, sensitive guy, <laughs> but he ruins it with a mustache. That's why he's like you. I don't uh, like his aesthetic. Like he's like you with a mustache. Yeah, and that's wrong. Me with a mustache is like, what the <laughs> fuck? Ugh. Why is he high tier uh, if you don't like him? <laughs> because he's not to my taste. Now he's basing it on appearance? Oh For this God, one, yes. Up your mind. You're so hypocritical. Dude, I can't do mustaches. I don't like facial hair. You can, you're gonna kid. Oh, God. Ugh. Mustaches? It, if is you have a... facial hair. What, what's mustache cool. plural? Mustache eye. Um. No, he's okay. F tier. I don't actually know. I'm asking because the mustache just sounded wrong, but I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Harvey, I think is fucking. I don't like him. I think he's good tier as as a man, as a partner. He doesn't do anything wrong. He's just not what I want in a partner. Um. So objectively, I'm like he should be high tier. He should be S or A tier. Because as a partner, he literally does nothing wrong. He is absolutely like just a good partner. <laughs> but I don't oh, want him. No. Oh, you made hot shave. Come on. I'm doing a fan ranking and putting it in the server right now. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. Everybody get up. Everybody get up. Okay, I'm up. <sighs> I'm up. What's happening? We're going to the map. Oh, Freya. 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 New instance, Freya. friends. Drop portal. Okay. Portal. Okay. Can't believe I'm fucking doing this. Ah, where's my third window? doing a fan ranking and putting it in the server right now. Final shave it off. They're not in the world, are they? Ah. All right. Camera. Blind behavior. Look at me. No, I don't want auto level. Anchor. Nope, I want it world. I'm flying off. Okay. Stardew characters. Wait, what? Did they take them out? Did they take out the Stardew Valley characters? What the fuck? I'm so sad. It literally goes... Stand-up comedian, Star Wars media, starter Pokemon, TF2 classes. Is there like a different version of this world? It's 
Frontier Land. No, they just took out Stardew Valley characters. What the fuck? Why? Well... Well, this sucks. Ugh. Okay, so we were gonna come here and I was going to rank all the Stardew Valley characters. No, it used to have it. This world 100% used to have Stardew Valley characters, and it doesn't anymore. Like, I know for, like, certain. Not, like, out of order in any way. Man. It had Stardew? I know. Alright. If it doesn't have Stardew anymore, we're just gonna end. Ugh. But you know what? We're gonna go do the tier list and fill it all in the Neat Stuff channel. That's what we're gonna do today after stream. Everybody's gonna fill out their fucking doodles. Behavior. Look at me. Auto level. Anchor default. Local. Nope, that's not what I want. I need anchor world. That's why. I'm dumb. Okay. I found out. I found one that doesn't have fizz on it. Fizz? What the fuck is fizz? Yeah. All right. Information points, socials. I'm fucking doesn't even know all the Stardew characters. Fizz isn't romanceable. What? Slash. Raid. Wagyumi. You started a raid to Wagyu. Are we only doing romance options? Okay, yeah, that was the whole point. We're talking about who's dateable. Um, We're going to Wagyu. She's playing Final Fantasy XIV. She's done with the spoiler stuff. She's done with the story. She might be in a very spoiler zone still, so if you don't want to see that, don't stick around too long. But she is done with the story. Wagyu has been a longtime friend of the channel. Um... She also has a blue twitch. Uh, you can you can see that if you want. Um, that being said, thank you everybody for keeping me company. 5.7 miles. Stardew Valley later tonight. It will be a short stream. We probably won't even have all eight people. Thank you for the stream. You and love you, Cupcake. Thank you. Um, that being said, I love you. Bye.